honest, nobody fucking likes vegans and how they think they're better than everybody. Send this one right to Meltzer. There you go. I got the intact scoops. He is definitely not a terrible wrestler. He's an awful wrestler. He's not a great wrestler. Hey everybody, welcome to Jobber Radio. Um, and we are in the holiday season. We just had Peanuts' little uh, Christmas intro song that he gave us. So uh, thank you for that, Peanut. I think we only got to use it once last year. We're going to play it through each episode we do here in December, so maybe two. <laughs> maybe three. <laughs> maybe, maybe six. Definitely not that. But uh, but anyway, uh, I'm Jake, a.k.a. Bomber. We got Rab here today. Rab, how are you doing? Are you in the full holiday spirit? Full yeah. holiday mood. I got my Christmas tree set up. I got my Snoopy on top of the doghouse outside in the front yard. Once Snoopy goes up, you know it's Christmas time. Now, are you a uh, before Thanksgiving or after Thanksgiving? No, absolutely not. Everyone who does it before Thanksgiving are <clears throat> communist or Canadian. Okay. Well, speaking of that, Scott, uh, how about you? Did you do your stuff before Thanksgiving? Well, I forgot. You don't have fucking normal Thanksgiving. Like, yeah, no, we are you like normal Thanksgiving. Normal, right? It's, it's in October. October. Yeah. yeah. So, um, no, I, actually, interesting point. We kind of wait for uh, November to end is usually it. It's like, it's December. Let's go. That's so kind of where not even is. so just so, communists then not even Canadians. Yeah, sometimes it's like oh it's the thirtieth close enough. I've seen people do that. It's whatever. Yeah. The general rule is you know at least wait till after Remembrance Day, the eleventh or Veterans Day. Whoa, what do you guys uh, for you guys? The the people who fell during World War One, Two, Korean War, blah blah blah. Oh. Um, that you know just wait till after that, and then it's all good. Canada but yeah, no, was good. in the Korean War. Yes. Anyway, okay, sorry. I, I, Anything okay. else you'd like to learn? Well, I actually was wondering, <clears throat> so you guys just celebrate like a normal Christmas? There's no like like Canadian Christmas? It's not like a different type deal? Well, I don't know if that's a yes, question for me, but I actually it, don't know that. No, that that's fair. It is normal, but we have Boxing Day the day after, which is not about throwing away your boxes. Oh. Um, it's like it's like a moving day type thing, and and it's yeah, it's a it's a British ancestral thing, but we simply just get the twenty first. If you don't have if the off. socks don't fit, if the socks don't <clears throat> fit, you return them. Yeah, it's, it's yeah, all the sales on Boxing Day. It's a huge thing up here. So yeah. There you go, and we have Peanut here today. Peanut, are you all decked out in your holiday uh, decorations? You got your tree up and all that. I wrote a song for Christmas last year. Yeah, well, that's, so that, that's, that's not a new spirit. song. Yeah. <laughs> I've been in the spirit for a whole year. Because I'd just been waiting for... You could say I was so eager. I was like, Bomber, dig that song up. We got to use it. That was true. So, I actually forgot about that song that we put on last year. So uh, thank you for that. So good deal. It's a good um, well, anyway, we got... Uh, that's, that's, all, that's all we got today. If anybody's wondering, Matt Zion is streaming video games right now as we record this. So he will not be here today. And Lee is off at work. So uh, both those guys out there making money while we're here, uh, you know, chatting it up. So um, anyway... We got uh, several things we want to talk about, but I think the very first thing we need to address is two former. I don't. I don't think they're both Hall of Famers. I don't know. I didn't look this up, but we got Dynamite Kid, Thomas Billington, and uh, Larry the Axe Henning. Uh, both passed away very, very recently. Actually, Axe was today of us recording this, right? Yep. And uh, Dynamite was yesterday. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. And as Pino was saying right before we went on, that uh. You know, everything happens in threes, so we will see. Um, Dynamite was also it, on his. That makes 60th it sound birthday. like I'm. I'm looking forward to it. I said it as like it's well, on a no. downbeat, so you didn't really got to catch that. Yeah, no, I did it. Up, yeah. I did more of an upbeat. I'm more of the half uh, full guess, type guy. I guess the the quote unquote important uh, part is no death pool, so no, we keep going. Uh, yes. Uh, nobody, nobody had anybody in our uh, current death pool that uh, passed yeah. away. But, I just, um, I'll say quickly, I mean, I know people hated on Dynamite. He was one of my favorites early on. I know I said that about a lot of guys, but Dynamite and Davey Boy were awesome as that tag team, the Bulldogs. Yeah. They're so good. I love that era. Like when we, we did a Fun fact, if you follow Twitter and Bomber talking about um, best tag team of the era, the, the Bulldogs are a reason I love that era so much of the, the 80s and 90s. So that's, yeah, no, it's, shit, a bit, did, it's a bit of a bummer. I didn't write that down on my notes for us talking about it, but if you motherfuckers want to get into that, Oh, we, we can doing? always get there. We can I'm not planning for this. Let, let's go with what our actual proper notes. Stuff. You're not planning for yeah. anything. I didn't. <laughs> I didn't do my Wikipedia research. This is so not... the trivia is going to start with. <laughs> yeah, so trivia today. But yeah. yeah, and I mean Larry Henning. We could. I could. I'll just say real quick. Like he's the, what the. God, patriarch. That's the word. 
of the Hennings. Like, there's yeah. uh, Mr. Perfect, who died, what, almost 10 years ago now, and Curtis Axel, Joe Henning, Michael McGillicuddy, pick a name. Yeah. Um, it sucks. It sucks, but yeah. Yeah, no, um, I honestly, just 100%, I don't know much at all about I've I've never watched, I don't think I've watched a single match of Larry Henning, so... I don't know. Uh, I don't know if he I don't was think good. I have either. Now you mention it. Yeah, I don't know he if he was good, good or yeah. I, all I saw of, of his was on the Spectacular Legacy of the AWA mm. DVD that WWE did a few years back. God, probably ten years now. Actually, thinking about that too. Was, that was a while um, ago. Yeah. He's all over it. He's on it a lot. They interview him quite a bit. He talks a lot about the the stuff in the era. He's a fun interview, so I can imagine he was a great promo. And I, I mean, you can see like he's he's Kurt Henning's dad is what you can see in it from this era. So I could only imagine people who saw him then see his son coming up. That was probably pretty cool. So, yeah, he's definitely a guy from the era. Seems like he was just a cool, normal guy. Like, no no one had bad stories that I know of. He's one of those guys. So, yeah. yeah. He was, I what, 82, I think, he died or something? Oh, yeah, that's crazy. Yeah, I just literally only knew him as Kurt Henning's dad. And that's, like, that's all I knew him as. But, all right, well, I mean, you know, it, it sucks. But that's the fucking wrestling world. So, you know, I, I have no doubts that we'll have, unfortunately, plenty more to come. So, uh, you know, it's it sucks, but that's that's the wrestling business, guys. That's how it is. I don't know how no, old just Dynamite take his kid. home bomber. Just take his home. I don't know how the old Dynamite <laughs> kid was, but I don't think he uh, was sixty. Sixty, even he was oh, sixty, and he died on his birthday. That's crazy. That sucks. I mean, he's been in bed for a long time. Yeah. Yep. To, be, to be fair, I probably will never get close to sixty, so I shouldn't. You know, I mean, that's that's good enough, I guess. But um, yeah, anyway. he was well, he was wheelchair bound for like what the past 10, 20 years almost. Yep. Yeah. He um basically he did he that kidding, dynamite right? headbutt. Yeah, did that. And he also did that dynamite headbutt and he's like no one should ever do that cuz it fucks you up a lot. Well, and you look at Benoit way. and shit and yeah, it's just no, don't do it. The whole thing with his oh, he was a terrible person and all that. I I have no problem with people celebrate, you know, what he did for wrestling and all that, but yes, of course, it is I think it is kind of shitty and unfortunate when uh people do pass away and everybody does kind of gloss over like whether or not somebody was a shitty person i have no yeah. problem with people like hey look what he did for wrestling look how what he he was such an innovator and in, like this type type of style and stuff but mm -hmm. don't talk about oh he was this great uh this great guy who did all these great things and like for his community and all like uh, like like george hw bush look at it <laughs> i have I been hearing the exact yeah. same things for bush I've been hearing what, he was one of your stuff. leaders, right? No, sorry. Oh, Jesus Christ. Um, no, but... Uh, one with of your too. Well, no, no. With we Dynamite... Leave. No, no. With Dynamite, um, <laughs> it's kind of funny because even his daughter posted about, like, losing touch with him for 15 years and getting back in touch, yeah. and it was great and got to visit a lot. And, to, and even said, she said in her post, to those who said he was an asshole, well, he never was to me. Oh, wow. That's all that matters. That's how I remember him. So even she addressed it because they, like, they know... He was an ornery British bastard. I, I, that's just, yeah. Is and he probably got upset at the world, and rightfully or wrongly so, it's the man he was. But, yeah. Well, let's move on to uh, less death and talk about what uh, you guys think. I, I want to know what you guys honestly think about the uh, the turns that have been taking place recently. We got Dean Ambrose's turn. I saw Matt Zion was uh, hitting up Twitter saying that WWE, WWE has already fucked it up, which, I mean, I disagree with, but I want to see what you guys are thinking on that. And also Daniel Bryan's new turn. Do you guys think both of their turns have been uh, working, not working? <laughs> what have you liked about them? What have you not liked about them? Uh, have, first of all, have you guys seen enough to comment on those things? <laughs> Which one is Dean Ambrose? Exactly. <laughs> the clothesline. He uh, does it where it's he's like he's vague. falling out of the Oh, ring. the guy with the weird clothesline. No, he was the guy in uh, Batman. Uh, I don't know. If, if you didn't watch Raw this past week, you won't get that reference. But uh, Oh, this full-on Bane jacket. Yeah, he literally came out with a, a Bane jacket and like a, a gas mask and had SWAT guys with him. Uh, I don't really know what that was about, but, um, you know. <laughs> You know, I've been following via the, the YouTube. I haven't been watching <laughs> Fool, which is how I mostly do it anyway. Well, I mean, that's fine. It, it kind of reminds me of like a SmackDown vs. Raw 2006 feud. This is what this kind of reminds me of for some reason. Like a little bit messy. Um, doesn't feel that important to me. Like it just feels like it's taking this backside I, to this. The Here, I, I mean, I personally, I mean, I'm a, bit, a little bit biased on Ambrose, as you might know. But I have liked a lot of his backstage stuff, like when 
Rollins was chasing him down backstage and like trying to find him and stuff. And Dean was cutting these promos like on forklifts or behind forklifts or whatever. And like these dark promos and stuff. I like that kind of stuff. That's good stuff. Now, the th the only thing that right now that I don't like about this feud that they got going on is Dean Ambrose is completely not playing to what his character should be doing. He's playing a chicken shit character right now. Uh, mm -hmm. Rollins comes out. Ambrose tries to run. He throws all these bodyguards. Like, Ambrose's character, he's supposed to be like a fucking psycho. He should be out there. He should be the one pursuing Rollins. He shouldn't be the one hiding. I mean, this again is me, like, you know, what I feel. But it just seems like it's going against what his character should be and what he should be doing since he's a goddamn lunatic fringe. I mean, just... It seems like it's going against what should be happening. Anybody else feel the it's, same way? I, I disagree. I okay. disagree. Uh, I, actually, I, I think I like the Ambrose turn more than most people. I agree. I liked all the backstage stuff. But even when he's hiding from, uh, from, from Rollins or when he's, you know, got the body, he's just fucking with him. He's fucking with Rollins. Yeah. The I whole point is that say, he's fucking with him. I agree. Like, he's not being a coward. He's just avoiding the fight. Like he's not well, like I mean, oh no, that he's sound, me out. To me, that he's more like he's being a no, no, it's not like no, because no, a chicken he's shit not heel scared is of being he's not scared of being beaten up. He's just like, come on, yeah, you can't catch me. He's being okay. a prick about it. Exactly, a chicken exactly. shit heel is someone who runs because they don't want to get hurt. Okay. Ambrose is just fucking with Rollins. Okay, it's just like when Rollins was trying to put in money in the bank and Ambrose was sneaking around and making sure he couldn't get it. He wasn't jumping him from behind because he was scared of jumping him, you know, of like mm -hmm. getting in front of him. It's because he was fucking with Rollins. Yeah. He just, this is the want same on the other side. Fight. They've just switched who's the heel and who's the face. Yeah. But it's just, it, he's fucking with him. Yeah. He just doesn't want to bother with the fight. Because why? Why? I got you later. I got you. I got it there. Now, of course, if he, if he starts playing it up as a chicken shit, okay, that's. Well, for one, like I mean, I know they try to rewrite history and ignore history when they do this stuff, but he was literally the one running at Lesnar as he was being taken down every time saying, give me more. Like, that, that's this guy. Yeah. So he, like, I don't believe, I'll never believe him being a cowardly type because of that. Um, but that's, that, yeah, that's, that's just be, how... It belies it in one aspect, but here it's yeah. like, no, ch Chicken Shit Heel is the wrong type for this, and he should not be doing that. Um, but I don't think he is doing it. No. Yeah. Maybe I'm a little early like, on that, yeah. Maybe well, I'm calling look at, it. Look at the same way here. When Becky was out there and Rhonda came out, Becky bailed out of the ring. She wasn't running away from Rhonda scared of what was going to happen. She was like, oh, no, got to gotta fix this, got to reposition it, let's get a chair. She wasn't being a chicken shit. She was just being calculating, can't get me kind of mm -hmm. thing. Gotcha, so, same gotcha. idea. Yeah. Okay. Well, yeah, maybe maybe I'm jumping the gun a little bit. Maybe I'm wanting to see a little more action between the guys, but uh Well, that that's why they got you to buy the pay per view for TLC. Well, I mean I already have the right? network, so No, but they made it but that's it. They're selling you on it. They make you you want to see them fight. Oh Good. I I've been wanting and to see this match in. for a long time. But um like no, right away. But they don't don't give it all away up front is what I'm saying. Like they're they're mm. teasing you. They're making you want it. The fact that you still want it, yes, it's working good. Yeah, and by the way, I may be the only one in here, but Dean Ambrose is winning that title at TLC. By the way, just want to point that out. I don't know if you guys you guys feel the same way. I'll say right now, I agree maybe. because they, they want to move Rollins up, and that's a good way to do it. Yeah, maybe. I yeah. mean, I have an email here from the official WWE website that says oh. uh, Monday Night Raw comes to Philadelphia March 4th see Seth Rollins versus Dean Ambrose in an Intercontinental Championship match with <laughs> Seth Rollins as the champion. March 4th that's who. March? <laughs> Jesus. That's a ways out to promo. That, I mean, That's right before WrestleMania. Uh, yeah, that's a month before WrestleMania. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, yeah. Cards subject to change without reason. Yeah, I was about it to does say. not say that on here at all. Oh, that, there we go. Spoilers. I'm, yes, willing cool. to, I'm willing to bet you my doll. Actually, it says talent subject to change. <laughs> oh, so well, yeah. send this one right to Meltzer because there you go. I got the inside scoops. Peanut right with the inside WWE. scoop. Okay, so so you guys overall like uh, Rap said he's overall liking Ambrose's stuff. What about you, Scott and Peanut? Like overall, do you guys think it's working good or or what? Do I you think guys it's think? fine, but I also feel it's they kind of got forced in, into this like a month or two too early. It's a weird period period where it's like pre Rumble slash WrestleMania season and the holidays, where it yeah. seems like everything's just a little bit cluttered and not as thought out yeah. naturally because yeah, holidays. Yeah, to you, I think you're right. I mean, this, generally, the stuff around December doesn't really matter. 
Mm-hmm. Yeah, and this is to me almost like a WrestleMania type like feud. What it should I feel be. like so, they got forced into it. They're both doing good, but it's a weird time where like the writers aren't fully committed. I mean, I mean you can tell they're into it. They're doing a great job, but it's just I don't know. It's this weird period where not a lot of not a lot of memorable stuff happens in like November, December, WWE yeah. seasons. It's historic so. for that kind of stuff. Yeah, mm-hmm. everything up to Survivor Series is pretty much it, and then nothing much till the Rumble. Yeah. What do you think about the feud, Scott? Overall. Good, bad. I'm all right. I'm all right with it. Like I said, I like that it's not really coming to a boiling point yet, and that's good because so many times lately you'll see feuds where they're fighting each other in tag matches or brawling, and then it's like, okay, well here comes the match. I- I've seen them fight three times in the past four weeks. What? It, yeah. There, there's just a, a problem they have with that. So the they've been doing a good job with this one because it like they had to, you wondering for like three weeks. Why did Dean do it? Like they stretched that out. I was amazed they even managed that. So yeah, it's good. I like I like it. They did get forced into it, but I think they're doing the best they can with it. Um, it it's it's one of those things where they're going to be teammates again someday. Then they're going to fight again someday. It's one of those situations. So it'll be fine. And you know what? Uh, I get I mentioned the two turns, but I guess the third big turn I guess has been Charlotte from uh, when she turned on Ronda. I I really haven't. I think of the three, I think she's probably the weakest of the three so far. She's a great heel. Not saying she like she's not a good heel at all, obviously, but I think her turn has definitely been the weakest of our uh, of the three. Yeah. Well, I, we I, talked about that when we talked about Survivor Series because yeah. her whole thing was she got frustrated and took out Ronda because she couldn't beat her, and yet none of us were like, yeah, she'd gotten to that point. Like the match hadn't reached that yet, so that doesn't work as the story you're telling. I've hated her promos after that because she's saying, Rhonda, if you butt into my business again, I'll take you out. I'm the one meant to beat you. And mm-hmm. Well, no, you were a last-minute replacement, and you couldn't beat her, so you attacked her. What? Well, what? I mean, that, that's okay, it's, heel stuff. I mean, I feel like heel talk, that's okay. Yeah, but it's really on the nose when you say, like, I'm going to be the one to stand up to you when you literally didn't. And you're yeah. trying to pa- pass it off as you are. Because Charlotte's character is supposed to be, like, the next in the Flair legacy with eight title reign type thing like that. One more title reign and she's got the record for women, by the way. Well, um, yeah, I mean, time. Wow. Yeah, like she's already at that point. If you include NXT, which yeah, you I could. think. I mean, she'll pass her dad, no doubt. I mean, <laughs> obviously, will. yeah. But she will. She's going to main event WrestleMania. All that kind of stuff is going to happen for this this woman. So for her to be like, oh, I can't beat Ronda. No, I don't believe you. And yeah. oh, I'm going to do all this stuff. No, it, it's yeah. She's the Flairs are natural heels, but the fans love to love them. So it's a it's a back and forth. So she's got to work it out for her. But she's a great heel. I just it's it's a weird thing because her character is trying to be what Becky is, but Becky's nailing it and is in the face style of like a Stone Cold, and it's great. And yeah, I don't know. I think it's kind of the similar to the Rollins Ambrose thing where it's they got forced into this, and now they're just trying to find their feet of what it yeah. is because Becky's firing on all cylinders. So you don't really want to. Yeah, push that aside, and Becky. So I think it's. I think it'll oh. get there. I just think they gotta kind of keep Charlotte floating with the Ronda thing for like and, another and, four months. By the way, they actually rebranded Becky with her Titan Tron and everything to be just black and white with the man <laughs> and like a silhouette. It's it's fantastic. Like it's the best thing happened to her, yeah. and it's it's a very stone cold black and white kind of thing. But it's so to the point, and they're eating it up. It's it's a lot of fun. Um. But what are you guys, Rab, what are your thoughts on the actual turn of Charlotte here? Do you think it's too soon from her, la- from her face turn? Do you, what, like, what, are you, what are you feeling? I don't care. Okay. I mean, it's fine. <laughs> uh, it's, I, I really like their – I mean, their match obviously was awesome. And I, oh, even fantastic. on the ending, even, even with the ending the way it went, it was very surprising yep. that it ended that way. It was great. Uh, since then, I don't really care. Uh, it's December. I, the thing is, I I always have this thing in the back of my head. I know the stuff in December doesn't matter. Mm, like very it, true. It does it, and then in mm-hmm. a little bit, like all of a sudden we're gonna be like, oh, and now we're in, you know, overseas, and no, no, I'm talking about just oh, in a couple of weeks. We get, oh, we're gonna okay. be doing like tribute to the troops, and and then it, it, just the stuff at the end of the year doesn't matter. So it's always hard for me to stay like, okay. like I'll reassess when we get closer to the Royal Rumble. You know what I mean? Sure. Yeah. I mean, yeah. I yeah. Agree. So, I don't like the turn bomber just for the sake of it here because it's too soon after what they tried with Becky in the same way, mm-hmm. and it really isn't called for because so okay so she couldn't beat one person uh, that was a last minute change of a match. She's literally the one who beat Oscar straight up and all this other stuff. Yeah, like, it, it, this doesn't ring true. Straight up, 
to the character. She be, <laughs> who, she be who straight up? Oscar. Oscar. Yeah, I don't even know who that is. <laughs> they don't either. But well, he, he, well, we'll talk about that match, match in a little bit. I'm yeah. sorry, but that's not a... Yeah, yeah we'll, I wanted to talk about but that coming nothing up Nothing of bit. Charlotte's character makes sense to turn heel based on one incident yeah. when you're a flair. It Anybody made, else, maybe, but that character doesn't make sense. I mean, no doubt. Yeah, I didn't... Th I mean, first of all, <laughs> um, the turn, like, itself, like, if you just close everything out, and if you go back, like, I don't know, 10 years from now, and you watch just that moment, you're like, wow, that was fucking great. But as far as, like, everything else, like, before, after... I don't think it, it's it doesn't seem to make a whole lot of sense, but that whole the actual the physical turn that she made that night was fantastic. I like just as Rap said, the match great, the ending great, everything about the actual moment was great. But it seems like they were just going for a fucking moment because it was all kind of thrown together. And I don't know, I I found it hard to believe that if like Becky wasn't hurt and Becky did did compete like. I'm pretty sure Charlotte would still be a fucking face, right? I mean, you would assume. Yeah, they, they would not have turned her. There was no reason to, yeah. Unless she was, yeah, I mean, unless she was supposed to come out and interfere, maybe. But I, I mean, I don't, I don't, I don't know. Who knows? But um, the other, the other big turn I want to talk about, Daniel Bryan. He's now the new Daniel Bryan. The old Daniel Bryan's dead. If you haven't been watching the past couple weeks, that's what he's been saying. He had Brock Lesnar kill him in the, uh, that great match with Brock Lesnar. So, um, what are you guys thinking about this turn? Rab, are you are you the same boat? Like, you don't care it's fucking December? No, it's fantastic. Uh, okay, okay. So, well, I'll, I'll let you, do you want to elaborate? I mean, I don't, it's not that I, it's not that I don't care. It's, that's actually super entertaining. Yeah, his promos this week were so good. His promos this week were insane. His promo last week was, in, I mean, his, just real good is the thing. I think that's, that's, that's the difference. I maintain that the old Daniel Bryan is a way to print money, and I thought for real there he would never be able to even be a heel again of the purest sense because yeah. he's the ultimate sympathetic character who came back from a two to three year legit injury that everybody knew about, and here he goes. Like it's it's the ultimate feel good story. It's goddamn Rocky in the quote unquote real world because he was legit hurt. So, like, they're going to make movies based on this and things like that. I, I never thought he could be a bad guy again. Uh, but he's doing it. And, again, I don't like it per se because it doesn't really I, – I didn't think it fit. Like, it didn't fit the character, but he got to that stone-cold point of I'll do anything to get the title. It doesn't matter what it is. Everything else be damned. I'm like, okay, I can get behind that a little bit. And now to see where he's going with it, where it's like, yeah – it's almost like Miz was right. Everything that he said was right. I got to protect me now. Oh, that's good. <laughs> okay. I'm still not a fan of it, but I knew he'd make it work. So, yeah. Um, I wasn't I I I wasn't feeling it at the very beginning. Like the whole it felt weird with the whole, you know. Oh, here we go. No, God damn it, no. No, no. no. I'm actually really want to hear what you say about this yeah, bomb. Yes. I, have they so won you over? I'm at me? the edge of my seat. I, I legit want to know if they actually made this work for you. The the dick kick in ho the whole thing when he turned and won the title, I I honestly I was like, come what the fuck? I mean, how many times are we gonna kick AJ Styles in the nuts to fucking uh, He cannot have more kids. I seriously, but I wasn't big on the turn. I wasn't big on when he came to face Daniel Bryan, like the uh, sorry, uh Brock Lesnar. Um, the beginning of the match, I really loved how he was doing, he, a lot of people didn't like the beginning, they liked, the, you know, the ending, the second half of the match, I liked oh, I how he was start. being a cocky <laughs> Like, around the shit. ring, ta taunting yeah. him and shit, oh, it was good, now, it was really good. Now, that was more entertaining, and then, uh, as of recent, I haven't, I, I still wasn't on board right away with, it seemed like the only way he knew how to be a heel was I'm just going to open my eyes really wide and talk, you know, in a little bit of different tone. But the whole, like, I think all the way up to this past week, I was not on board, but the Miz TV segment, um, where he started, he basically cut a promo. Like he was that ultimate, like, you know, like vegan or vegetarian or whatever, like talking about the people eating animals and all this kind of stuff talking. And then he started this fickle thing that I, I mean, I kind of like it. I think it's okay. We'll see where it goes. I love the fickle. It's pretty good. I like he 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 asks like a, a question and then he just yells fickle. Like that's that's good. I I do enjoy that. That's good stuff. Um, and I really like how he's wearing like grandma sweaters. Like he's dressed like the <laughs> ultimate like hippie. Like I don't give a fuck about he's... like what I wear. Like 
it looks funny. He's and, a vegan environmentalist warrior douchebag. Yeah, he seems like a super it's like hippie. Kind of great. <laughs> I've never seen anything like. I, I don't know if that's the way they're going, or if like that's just how it like he's been looking. Like no, it's I, exactly the way they're going. I hope. Yeah, can that I? Is, can I kind of compare it to one thing? What's that? It's very similar to when CM Punk would be like, "Oh, I'm I better than you. I don't, I don't need to drink. I don't need this stuff. I'm better yeah. than you." It's very similar to that. It's very different in how. Very it's very similar. It's very similar to. But it's good. I'm it's better good. than you. I agree. Because so, I don't drink. I don't smoke. I'm and, straight edge. And I will say the yeah. way things are looking now, after just this past week. Um, I am actually more on board because I haven't really seen a character because, let's be honest, nobody fucking likes vegans and how they think they're better than everybody. And I'm sorry. that it, Fuck you, PETA, and everything, you know. Oh, but don't, don't beat a dead horse. No, he needs feed, a, to, feed a fed horse. Exactly. Fuck. He needs to fucking, like, do that shit. That is the ultimate to me. You want to be a fucking heel? People will fucking despise you over that stuff. But I'm, I'm on board. I've, I'm, I'm interested to see where it goes. I haven't really seen anybody do, you know, this type of angle uh, before. Mm -hmm. He's doing it. So I'm inter I am interested. So uh, there you go. You guys always say that I don't give Dan O'Brien any fucking kudos or whatever. There you go. I'm interested. Well, this is what it took, apparently. Yeah. yeah. I mean, no, it, I... And the bad thing, it kind of took Miz from Miz TV to kind of bring it out. I even like Miz's face, too. Miz was like, what the fuck are you talking about, dude? When yeah. he was, like, I talking like... about the, the animals and all that kind of stuff with the methane. Oh, and that's great. great, too, because Miz is like, I told you so. I told everybody. Like, when Heenan was like, oh, Hogan, I knew it. I told you all yeah. along. It, it was, he was kind of doing that. Mm -hmm. But then Brian went down this other path, and Miz is like, "Oh, what the fuck?" Yeah, he was like, "What?" what the the... Yeah, he was like, "What?" That, that was great. Where it's like, Miz, you don't know what you've done, or did you do this? I don't even yeah. know anymore. That's cool too. So it's it's been a lot of fun. Yeah, I just want to see him always wearing like a old nineteen seventies grandma sweater for the rest of mm. his run. It'd be great. Though I, I have to think he should shave the beard and shave his head and go back to that <laughs> really terrible. Oh God! Oh. That, Terrible American dragon look he had yeah, the, at one point. Daniel, yeah, uh, I know. Brian, Brian I, Danielson or whatever. or what, however, No, what the? God, I can't even say the guy's name right. Is that right? Yeah, yeah. yeah it was okay, Brian there Danielson. Yeah. yeah, there you go. No, but I, I, I get that look, but I like his scraggly, like, fucking hipster hippie. He, he's got to be like the Seattle douchebag. It looks, looks great. Yeah, his hair looks pretty it, He's gross. perfect for it. Yeah, because it always looked weird as a good guy. I thought. It's like, yeah. that's kind of weird. He's all disheveled and scraggly, but, you know, he's one of us. He's trying to rise above. Now he's like, no, I'm not one of you. Yeah. Oh, what, that's uh, good. What about you, Peanut? Are you on board? Have you, you been liking uh, the stuff uh, Brian's been doing? All right. Well, Peanut. Uh... Do we have a Peanut? Oh, Peanut. It literally, I just looked over and says Peanut has left. The okay. <laughs> we've lost Peanut well, for the time. Well, we've lost Peanut. We'll just say that he I will say it. one more thing. Yeah, go for it. Uh... He had the best what response since yes! Undertaker's. Good call. That was a good call. Yeah. The well, best what response since Undertaker. I don't know about since Undertaker. I like the I Alexa heard Blisses, that, but I think. Yeah. But I need to watch that because I hadn't actually seen it yet. Oh, it's. I heard it's it was fantastic. good. Is it? Yeah. It, okay. It's 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 real great. Or or, and it's the best one since Undertaker because I really I mean. Say what if you all sleep with your sister is is very simple but very good. <laughs> Alexa Bliss. Alexa Bliss was good too. too. I'll give her credit for that. There was someone else. Jericho was pretty good at it because he would just like kill it. Yeah, and Brian. There's yeah, a few others that you need to go. Good at. You need to go look it up. I'm sure you can find it somewhere. Uh, it, oh yeah. It was fucking great. It was he. Now I know he too. destroyed yeah. the crowd. Yeah. It was during the Miss TV segment too. So. He wrecked them. Yeah. It was really good. A crowd that still, in their heart of hearts, wants to love him. Keep that in mind. They want this guy to succeed. That's the reason he's partly there. This dream that they've. All wanted him to achieve, and he's like, "Yeah, fuck you." Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's good. It's us. Oh, that's that's heel. That's yeah. Really, Peanut, really... I, I see you in the call. Are you back yet? I see your mic muted. Are you back, Peanut? If not, we're just gonna keep going. All right, he's he's gone. Hey. Oh wait, what? Oh Jesus, Peanut. Peanut's back to his old. It's form bad. Oh, it's very bad. There he is. Hey. What's bad? Are you okay? Okay, fuck it. We're going. We're moving. <laughs> We're moving on. We're moving on. Peanut, just catch up with Intermittent us. Intermittent peanut. Yeah, catch up with us when you get there, okay? Uh, so uh, anything you guys want to talk about uh, before we get into some of the TLC build that's been going on? We're not going to go down the full card right now, but I just wanted to talk about some of the stuff going on with TLC. I, 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 hate, cool. Lucha, I hate Lucha House Party. <laughs> oh, yeah, I'll, I'll say something about that, too. Um, and I, I can't say I hate it. I can't, I can't take full credit for this because I saw it on like a write-up review of, of it. But 
the fact that the guys who just want to wrestle and get a fair shake are getting outnumbered by shenanigans. Yeah. <laughs> They're the bad guys, and the plucky faces are supposed to be the good guys, outnumbering the guys who keep getting screwed over. It's just so backwards and it's dumb. Three, three on three-on-one, and we're all supposed to be like, yeah! Well, yeah, they got look, pinatas and stuff, so, you know, it's yeah. fun. It's... It's no, it, it's not working yeah. for me. Those fucking um, pinatas, yeah. I, I don't, I don't like it. Um, ironically, the revival said, "Don't worry, someday you'll all see us facing the young bucks, and everyone will rejoice." And one of the bucks said, "Don't worry, one day you'll see us face the revival, and everyone will rejoice." Yeah. So all, all like uh, we we could talk all day long about this all elite wrestling. It's not official. We're not talking about it. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's, it, there's going to be a promotion. Well, there's the, going to be stuff in January. The, we'll get there. Yeah, I was but, like, that's the point to talk about it, to speculate, yeah, and then all be yeah. wrong. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's I mean, it's going to be a thing. But that that goes to what you were kind of wanting to talk about, too, Bomber. I know. So. Oh yeah, that uh, actually that whole thing. Um, as we'll get into it a little bit later, here's like a little tease for you that we're going to go into uh, people that. WWE needs to let go. Like, hey, it's time to cut ties with these motherfuckers. Just get rid of them. And then guys that need to go on their own and say, hey, WWE, we we need to do our own thing. We need to get, you know, we need to make a name for ourselves without you. So we're going to talk about it a little bit later, right after TLC. Um, but that whole thing with uh, the revival is what sparked it. We had a big discussion on our Discord channel, which you guys need to go, by the way, check out. Go to jobradio.com for the link and everything. Um, but, yeah, we had a big Big discussion about that, and that's what prompted that segment we're going to do here in just a little bit. So uh, make sure you stick around for that. But TLC, first of all, I want to jump right out, right out front and say, am I crazy? I don't, hopefully this wasn't announced yet. But am I crazy in thinking the three-way SmackDown Women's title match will be the main event? No. Yes. No. No, okay, okay. I got mixed. You're not got... crazy in thinking it. So okay, so I'm I'm hoping they didn't announce <laughs> something point. that I didn't see. But I think that of looking at the card, this looks like a really great card on paper, by the way. But that match has the best kind of build going for it, the best characters. Becky's like pretty much on top of everything right now. But I think that should be the goddamn main event. I, I, am I wrong? Tell me I'm wrong. Uh, I agree with you. I think it's going to happen. It, it'll be main event because I I strongly believe that Becky and Ronda would have main event in Survivor Series. I, I really? still stand by that. I don't know about I do. that. I do. Um, ah, no, I, 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 know, every see, time I think that, they don't do it. So yeah, I'm the, the, on the, the side of now just always saying a, no. Because when they do have... Sorry to cut you off, but I think when they do have the the women main event of pay-per-view, they're going to make a big deal out of it leading up to it. They're going to tell you how groundbreaking well, they've already they done are. That. Well, no, they're, they're doing that, though. They're talking about how epic this triple threat is. It's the first ever women's No, CLT but I, I have well, a feeling so. Stephanie McMahon would be in the center of the ring um, no. with flowers, and she'd be like, I want to tell you guys <laughs> I, face to face that I, okay, because of me, you guys get the main event, a pay per view on WWE Network. <sighs> here's, here's why I think it'll, it'll be the main event because it's a TLC match, and the only other one is Braun and Corbin. Which the, we don't know if that's official yet, right? Because, I mean, yeah, Braun's but the, still no, hurt. that's. That's announced, so we may as well say it is, but they're probably going to screw over and do something about it. But that's the other TLC match, and potentially the only other one. So if it doesn't happen, there is only the triple threat for the women. Man. Um, nothing else is. Like, Rollins and Ambrose is just a match for the IC title. Yep. Um, there's a table match. There's uh, Is there even a ladder match? No, no ladder match yet. Yeah, no, nothing there's announced a triple yet. threat for the SmackDown tag, and I keep forgetting the other one. Why am I forgetting the other match? Wait, what um, is it? AJ, AJ and Brian. In there somewhere. Yeah, AJ and Brian is just for the title. There's no stipulation, which yeah. they could always add on Tuesday. I mean, but yeah, so I really think the TLC match will main event because it's the first women's one. It is a TLC match at TLC. Just, it seems to make sense. In the and they're the hottest act, like you said. Here's what I'm like, uh, what I wish was going down, which I'm still like, I, it's going to be a great match regardless, but I think they should do the actual, you know, the actual traditional TLC throwback. The th triple threat tag team title match. Make that a TLC match with the bar, New Day, and the Usos. That match yeah. could, like, those guys are all fucking fantastic. Throw in a t uh, TLC match. I mean, you're talking about rivaling, you know, Edge and Christian, the Hardys, Dudleys, and stuff. Those guys are definitely capable of doing it. They're fantastic as it is. If that was a TLC match, 
match that's either, fun. easily match the year that I, I guarantee they could pull that off, no problem. I love that idea, yeah. But I mean, right now, I mean, that could end up being a uh, ladder match. There's still a couple weeks. <coughs> but uh, yeah, there's weeks. no one. One week. One is there only one? Oh, Jesus only, I think it's next. This Run Sunday. SmackDown. You're right. Up. Okay, so yeah, I guess maybe. Week. Yeah, next week. Okay, so maybe. I mean, just saying, there is no ladder match. Usually, they do one of each. So, I mean... Do they, they have a chairs match? Sorry. Is no, that... there is not one. No. no. You're right. Okay, they didn't do last year, right? They... No, they did. They did. Um, yeah. Corbin versus... Or was that two years ago? Uh, I don't know. Corbin yeah, was in one. I don't know if it was yeah, last they year. It's not did. that important. They've got random matches, too, that they could always throw the stipulation yeah. on. So, I mean, if you want to break down the card, Bomber, we can... Uh, I don't want to break down the card. Yeah, yeah, we'll... <laughs> okay. yeah, the, well, we will... I'll, just, I'll just mention them, man. Like, what, Elias and Lashley and Balor and McIntyre are messy. just matches... So yeah. you can easily make one be a chairs match because Balor hit him with a chair on Monday. It's a chairs match now. Like that's how they do these things. So yeah. by the way, Mac, by the way, McIntyre. You laugh, but it's true. That's, so, that's why it's funny. It's funny because why it's true. Natalia versus Ruby Riot got announced as a tables match because they put her through a match. table on Raw. Okay, oh, man. So, that just got sure. announced. What do you guys think about? That? I'm I'm actually pretty excited about that. What do you, are you guys? I could no fuck oh, that. God no. Damn. Okay, God it'll be fine. Because all you have, I'm sure it'll be fine. I don't care. You had a tables match back in the day. It'll be fine. No, I'm not excited. Okay, maybe. Wow, Rob, ex- that means you hate the the women's uh, evolution. Maybe, evolution. <laughs> yeah, maybe excited was a hard word, but I, I'm just. I'm ha- okay. Maybe happy is a better. Word. I'm happy to see Natalia getting a you know a featured match in a stipulation on a pay per view. I actually like Natalia <laughs> quite a bit. So I feel like in 2008 I was thinking that about her. I was like, oh man, I'm glad yeah, she. That's she what I said. A- <laughs> yeah, her, weird, she cause... and uh, Beth Phoenix were in a tables match yeah. against uh, Lay Cool. Yeah. Just in general, it's it, like it's always with her. It's I like, wasn't I'm glad she's there. I, I, I think Peanut's right. I wasn't disappointed every, every time when Natalia I saw gets like a spot. You go like, "Good for her. She works hard, right?" Yeah, yeah. I mean, she's so a good I, fucking wrestler. So I mean, yeah. But when the announcement went up, I wasn't like, "Oh, really? That's a match." I felt that way about Balor and McIntyre. I'm like, "That'll be good," but that's kind of that, like, that's a raw match. And then like Elias and Lashley. Well, I've seen that all year. That's just a normal match. Okay. I'm kind of like there, there's nothing fancy about them, so I'm kind of like, mm, "All right, it's December that's fillers what it is. for it's December. December." Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but like Corbin and uh, Braun in a TLC match, I'm like, ooh, ooh, that's, mm, no, that's going to be, a, oh, no, no, no. It's going to be awful because Corbin's yeah. terrible. But then there's AJ Corbin's and... Corbin's not that bad. Yeah, he is. He's awful. No, I, I There's disagree. a reason I he disagree. barely wrestles. He's a terrible look, and he's terrible on the mic, and he's a bad wrestler. He's rough on the mic. Do-do-do. He's not a terrible, he is definitely not a terrible wrestler. He's an awful wrestler. He's not a great wrestler. He's boring. He's an awful, he's an awful wrestler. He, let him wrestle. he no, 100% no. needs to be carried through matches. They no, don't like I him disagree. wrestling. They took away his money he, in the bank, and he, he doesn't get he, to wrestle anymore. He needs, like he needs to be carried through every match. I think he's rough as fuck on the mic. I think he's got a terrible look. Well, it sounds like you might have him on your list that we're going to be talking about here in a little bit then. Uh, no. Not getting rid of the motherfucker. But <laughs> oh, okay. I, I actually was – I'm maybe I'm too high on uh, Corbin, but I, 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 don't, I don't hate him. I don't hate him. I used to think there was potential there, but then he did nothing with it when he was given all these opportunities. I'm like, he's, I'm waiting for you to impress me, he's and he never, never had. He's never really let me down. I mean, maybe that's just me, but I, you I got, really you've got low right, expectations. When he had the money in the <laughs> bank, when maybe. he won the money in the bank, you were like, about time they're giving Corbin a shot. I, I did not. I, I was like, okay, we'll see where this goes, and then it didn't okay. go anywhere. But that's fair. That's fair. Yeah. Um, no, yeah. I don't hate was... him. I'll throw that out. It doesn't bother me. It's kind of weird to see him sometimes be like the uh, like the chicken shit heel a little bit because he's so big. Yeah. Um, he, I don't know. He plays he plays his part good. I think. But I mean, it's just kind of a weird visual when he's playing that and like yeah. Finn Balor's next to him. It's like really. He, I'm just glad he shaved his head because that hair was just gross. That hair well, was, that was awful. part of the gimmick, brother. <laughs> it pretty much was. I guarantee you, Vince fucking hated looking at him like every single day. But uh, but anyway, um, yeah, I, I mean, I don't think they could have gave Rollins Ambrose a stipulation this early because this is like their first like official like you know, like tri- uh, intercontinental title match. There's gonna this is gonna go on for a little while, so I don't think they were gonna come right out of the gate and give a stipulation. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if this goes. I don't know. Ah, I mean, I, I, that seems like so long. Well, March fifth at least. Oh yeah, that's right. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I no, definitely I mean, am not it opposed. No, I mean, can definitely go to Mania. I, I have love inside scoop. December doesn't matter, right? And then you've got the Royal Rumble, and then that's depending true. on what happens to the Royal Rumble, nothing. Fast Lane the Royal and Rumble yeah. and WrestleMania that has to. Like they just they just fight during the Rumble. That's fine. Whatever happens, happens. Yeah. I think Rollins. I mean, 
if Rollins retains, I still think Ambrose is going to win. But if Rollins retains, I think uh, I I don't think they need the title in this feud. I think they want they need to get rid of the title. Like they they could get rid of this title. Mm. Uh, they're going to the elevate it a little bit. WWE thinks so. No. Yeah, no, they're gonna they're gonna elevate it, quote unquote, a bit first. Which the legit they will, because Rollins has been doing wonders with that belt. But yeah, yeah. No, it always sucks though, because when they do drop him for something like this, it's just like Rollins gets distracted by Ambrose or something, and then it's yeah. a quick roll up one two three, and then the title becomes like nothing for a couple months. I was. Mm-hmm. So it's always like if yeah. in theory it's like yeah, well he brought the title up, but when it gets pushed to the side because the feud's so good, it always feels like. They dropped the title, not fairly, quote unquote, and they didn't. They don't get a rematch, and then the title floats for a while. At least that's how it feels. Like I can't really bring up. I mean, examples. That about. happened with Miz and Ziggler in, in their runs as well. So yeah, I know you're right. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but I mean, I mean, there's plenty of guys that could, could have a good run. You got Balor. You got. I think McIntyre should be going for the Universal title as yeah. soon as he can. I uh, think Balor but, is overdue for an IC title run because he's in that uh, like upper yeah. gatekeeper area Even where Bobby they keep saying, like, could be good too. Yeah, well, I mean, Balor has literally, like, he had that world title for one day, but that's all it mm-hmm. needs, and he's like, he keeps, like, going after it and having a good shot at it, so he would do wonders with the IC title, yeah. I think. Maybe I'm looking way too crazy on this pay-per-view, but I'm looking at Daniel Bryan and AJ Styles, and I also think AJ Styles is going to win. I don't think it's going to, it's not going to be a title change, obviously. I'm the way the feud's been going. He's because Daniel Bryan's been working on his knee. He's been doing all this stuff. He's been chop blocking him and stuff. He's definitely going to lose the match by DQ. I I'm willing to put money on that. I think. Oh yeah, no. Welcome to AJ Styles having four matches with some more stipulations. This is match two. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. It's it's gonna be it's gonna be AJ. I think this is just you know what I'm thinking. AJ is gonna get the win via DQ here. Come on, uh, TLC. That's why mm. that's why that's not gonna be the main event. And it's gonna be Lynch, Flair, and Oscar. Um, I've been hearing a lot of people say Oscar's gonna fucking win. So well, th- yeah, I've been hearing that because that's how you get it off and out of that feud. Yeah. But also, I would not be surprised if Charlotte took it by beating Oscar, because then Becky's like, "You keep screwing me over." That's, Man, that's her story, people right? People have been really hating on Charlotte. I think you know whether Good. or not you're buying think... into the heel heat. Well, uh... well, that would that works perfect, Scott. What you said, like that gives Charlotte another title reign. Yep. It keeps their feud going, oh, and then Ronda can come into the fold eventually. Exactly. <laughs> are... I fully believe that Becky's going to win the Rumble and go after Ronda. But see, Charlotte is doing – like, people are hating on Charlotte not because, you know, she's a heel. They're hating on Charlotte because they think that she's been get... – she's just handed all this shit. Like, if yeah, she gets so another title run – they're Becky's promos where she's saying that. Well, yeah. No, Becky, Becky is <laughs> saying the perfect things right yeah. now. She needs to keep it up. Uh, hopefully she doesn't uh, falter anyway, but – um, I don't know if Flair wins this fucking match, she's gonna have so much like nuclear heat, heat. with like the fans. Good, like Welcome not, to not what your dad not had. A good way though. Let's go. No, it's fine. No, I think it is a good way in this situation because if she's going against, they don't be careful if they're not careful with it. I'm telling you. No, no, I'm no. I, you. Well, I'm because the you. thing about the Roman Reigns does, also fine. hurt him. He was going against Brock, uh, and I think um, Becky is so over. That people will at least be interested and not they'll it'll be bad heat in the sense, but it'll be good for the feud. It, when Becky, or it'll be good for <laughs> Becky and elevate the whole thing overall. When that title comes off of Becky, and it's not because she got beat, but Oscar got beat because Charlotte beat Oscar before, they're going to be so behind Becky regaining it or going after Ronda. Mm-hmm. It look you can't describe how crazy nuts that crowd's going to be over that. Yeah. They're going to. Boo Charlotte and chant bullshit and stuff like that. Good, good, and, excellent. And, it's all then, part of the plan. And then Becky will wrestle Carmella on the opener for WrestleMania. <laughs> Why well, is it before? I was worried they were going to still want to do. We're lucky. Like they were going to go toward Becky and Nia because, oh, they're mad at Nia for ruining Becky's match. No, no. We want that, but we want the match we wanted, which was Becky and Ronda. So. The fact that they're oh, in the air they, is actually a good thing. Or I could see them doing they always Nia do the, Becky. They always do the wrong thing. So I they're going to do Nia yeah. versus Becky as the opener. I assume for, that Becky yeah. will be on some match that doesn't matter on WrestleMania no. against someone who doesn't matter. They, no, they just rebranded all their stuff with the man. I think they yeah, they're really stupid. kind of maybe right now. I, I, perhaps stupid. you're so right. But they're they could easily – let, let me say this. I think they're saying my plan right now, but by the time we get to Mania, they could easily be doing your plan. Well, <laughs> I, remember I, this I, moment because – I'm just saying – they could easily change every, it. Right, you're right. Every time that I've been on this podcast and I go, no, just remember, they're super dumb. 
And it's usually Rami who's like, nah, they can't fuck this one up. And then we're on a podcast <laughs> a little bit later going, man, Rab, I don't know how I didn't see that, you know, uh, <laughs> well, <laughs> that fucking gender Mahal was going to win again. Like, I, don't, I don't know how you didn't see that either. They're super <laughs> dumb. To the credit, I never put it past them to not do that. I'm like, this is what they should do. Here's what they'll probably do. And when you say that, what you're saying, I could easily see them doing that. I really hope like not. Like I'm saying, I hope they, they want Nia versus Becky. Somebody they write think, this they down. Think that's opener. it. Somebody please write it down. Episode 83, whenever it gets fucked up, somebody bring it up, and I'll go back and pull that clip and play it. <laughs> uh, play <laughs> it back on our current on the current episode of Rab you, fucking call You heard it. You, you, you heard it here first, yeah, Becky yeah. versus Carmella on the opener, <laughs> on the on the raw free, on the WrestleMania free show. Oh my God! Oh please no. The YouTube exclusive, not the even the pre-pre-show. broadcast one. It's it's yeah. the online version. Yeah, yeah. no. If they put an hour of it on like you USA might be the shit. man, but Mella's money, oh, and no. it's not gonna it just <laughs> no, no, no. Okay, so let's move on to uh, to our other segment uh, here about. Who needs to be let go by the WWE? They could in... do a cool okay, thing in that match done, guess, where yeah. Carmella does for the dance break, and then... <laughs> Fuck, yeah, that's that's the only part you had for that, is a fucking dance break. Get out of here. Okay. Oh, but then Becky busts out her old NXT Irish jig, and... <sighs> Thanks, right, Scott, I couldn't get it out. Let's... Yeah, I had, yeah, I was so you are going. <laughs> let's, let's not wish that upon anyone. Uh, but who WWE needs to let go, and who just needs to leave on their own... And, you know, hit the indie scene or, you know, maybe Japan or wherever. So, so, okay, right off the bat, what's the difference? Well, the difference is who WWE needs to cut saying, like, guys that or, like you know. Like what dead women, weight they should get rid yes, of dead versus weight, yeah, the people the, that shouldn't stick around. Yes, these the are two Pope very, okay. these are two, I got you. Very, They're two very different things. Yeah, very different I, things. I agree. Yeah. Okay, okay. Um, like, like, no one's saying, hey, Kurt Hawkins really needs to go on the Japan scene. So, <laughs> let so I think your kind of comparison is who is the Drew McIntyre that should be fired for not pulling his weight that'll hopefully come back awesome? And who is the Cody Rhodes saying, fuck this, I'm out, let me do my thing? I don't think thing. anyone's saying that I hope they come back awesome. I don't, I don't, I don't know that's part of the thing. Well, well I mean, it could be. It could be if that's how you see it. But it but if, that thinking, helps, if that helps, it, that helps. could be. But is that what you're saying, guy who came up with the premise? Yes. Is it? It's sure. all about your opinions. I don't want to say it. Sure. Okay. I mean, no, fair enough. I mean, who, did, who should depends. WWE? Who's the dead weight? I got. It. Yeah, no, you're good. That's I got who's it. Paul who Burchill and fired. who's yeah, who's that, Cody Rhodes? Um, who needs to be fucking fired? Yeah. That's the first part. That's what we're gonna do here. Who needs to be fired right now on this roster? If we're doing okay. a purge before the end yep. of the year here, who needs to be let go? That's all right. what we're doing. So who wants to who wants to throw in some names that you think is just dead weight needs to be cut? Um, can, can I can I start yeah, my one single had, answer right now? Yeah, you had one I have a name. single answer. Go for it. The writers. Oh my Does god! That, oh oh my god. god! Okay, what is this? No, because the the waka fact waka. that waka. No, uh, the simple fact that we're going to talk about people that are not pulling their weight or doing the cool thing or doing what they should be doing because they're not getting stuff to do is mm-hmm. not entirely their fault. We've said this many times. It's a thing. And don't worry, I'll say real answers there's, in a minute. Well, but it is always thing to remember. That, uh, they gone. literally. Brock Lesnar literally didn't go to Raw Fickle. once. <laughs> Fickle. God damn. Can I finish? Yeah. Nope. Brock Lesnar literally <laughs> didn't go to Raw once because the writers had nothing for him. If the writers can't figure out something for Brock Lesnar to do, we have problems. That's the kind of stuff. That is that. That is a problem. It's uh, your I, job I, to I, make I, them have stuff, and if you can't pull that off for literally this set group of characters... You fail at your job; it should be replaced. I don't like the, Hollywood writers and Connor. Writers. The, the yeah. only the only reason I decided to interrupt that is one: I'm very tired and delirious. Two, <laughs> uh, you know that's not the premise of this segment. And three, I know. And, th- and three, there is nothing there is nothing groundbreaking about what you just said. No. Everyone agrees. Well, yeah, you don't have to tell us. This. Also, to yeah. be fair, I from what I hear. And see, I think don't aren't the writers <laughs> often fired and let go? Like they get new writers in continuously. Like, yeah, oh, they like, turn I mean, them through continuously. Just, that, support, just look. Sometimes, could also be a sometimes reason. could be a problem. You know, he comes in and he starts support. just saying things as if they were deep, and they're not. And Lee, we're all sick of it. <laughs> God damn it! So there it is. Poor, I missed miss you, Rab. I missed you. Poor Lee. Um. So do you got any? No, it's, do you got any names? Any wrestlers? Real ones? Superstars. Give me some superstars. Peanut. Give me some superstars. Well, 
Well, no, again, give me a second here, because, I mean, the, you've got the ones that are filling their role or things like that, or the yeah, ones the, who are doing nothing. The like, the oh, there's is, so many dead weight people. The that problem with the around. question is that there is, like, 84 hours of TV they have to fill every day. Yeah. Call like, Kurt motherfuckers Hawkins fills up. a role. Nope. No, Kurt here. Hawkins fills a role. I don't feel he should be Where fired. Where call motherfuckers up? Those motherfuckers are filling TV down there. No, and, no look, there, there are so many people G that can be fine. Fine, fine. you're right. Do you want you're, an answer or right. not? <laughs> You're right. Let's let's call up, you know, let's call up uh, Cassius Ono and have him instead job out on Raw at, least at you know, 10.30 p.m. Okay. At least it's someone new. No, What does no. it matter? Okay. Anyway. It's someone new to just be another play. That That's like I said. So, Kurt Hawkins. I laughed my ass off when they brought him back. And it was the worst dumb promos. He's literally on a two-year gimmick of losing. He's yep. filling a role. Shouldn't be fired. It works. It's fine. He's cashing a paycheck. It's okay. He should not be fired. I don't he have is him doing what list. he's supposed to do. I don't have him he's in list fine. on my let him go either. I don't have him on my list. You, and unfortunately, I know people are going to be like, oh, really them? Yeah, the Ascension, they're not doing what they're supposed to, but that's where I come in. Like the, They could easily do what they're supposed to if they were given the right thing. So there's that whole that's problem. Awful. They're... Primo. Better in a smaller environment. They're not suited for this. They should probably be let go. I agree. The ascension should probably be axed. Um, but someone needs to lose. Lucha House Party revival. <laughs> revival. Should revival not should not be losing because they're good. Here, they can exactly, and that's the problem. What you just call someone up so they can lose, and then we're gonna get rid of Lucha, uh, you know, Lucha House Party or Ascension because yes. we're bored of them. But then we'll call up. We're gonna call up Undisputed Era so that they can lose now. <laughs> You can't just get rid of people because you're bored of them to call people up of from NXT so that they sure also can. lose. Sure can. That's stupid, though. That's not stupid. Then in two, and then in a year, you're going to go, well, you're, man, yeah. uh, undisputed, undisputed era, and they're then, not doing anything. No, but all you're doing is putting a different body into a role. People don't like that role. Change that role. That's the point, is what he's trying to Change say. The role, like, yeah, what do you mean not... the role? The role of the jobber? The role what? of the jobber when it's being filled by someone who is not a jobber. Well, like who? If Kurt Hawkins is a fucking jobber. He's a jobber. Yes, but but like, okay, fine. What's your list? You, you have to be good to be able to be bad. Well, I want Let's somebody to give me list. on yes. purpose. Well, you want on me purpose. to give me my list? Okay. Is that well, no, no, Robert. What, what I'm saying, Robert, I have is a you lot have of names. Good, Bomber, you have to be able to be good to be able to be bad on purpose. If you're just straight up bad, I'll give you a name: Baron Corbin. I want yes. a, he should not be in that role that he's in. He should not be in that position. He, he should not be in the company at this level. He I'll be throw fired, Nia though. Jax. She's fucking unsafe. Fire her no, too. No, no, you can't no, that's I mean I mean I'm I don't not, like her. I'm, what, this what, isn't about what what people do you, you don't want? like. This isn't about okay. firing people you don't like. There's okay, people that well, WWE then, need to let go because they're dead weight. Nia Jax. Uh, I mean she's if not that's how you her honestly her. feel then, Tamina. She's not pulling her weight. That's close. Tamina is not pulling her weight. I mean, that's close. What do you mean close? Are my answers not acceptable? Well, I mean, not, when you say I want to hear Jackson Bomber's list. Corbin. I just want to hear. Yeah, I want to hear what's Bomber's list. Okay. So what, what's what's your list that we can go from? We can then understand what he thinks we should be saying. <laughs> that's okay. Well, <laughs> well, well you start naming, this clearly to think that I'm off base. <laughs> well, so, when fair you enough. come in what, and what is... start going like Finn Balor, I don't like him, fire him. Like, that's different. I don't than, like Finn Balor. Bomber. Did you someone just said Nia Jax to Finn Balor? Someone said Nia Jax that, like, the entire, like, wrestling internet community is, like, super against and just doesn't want to see anymore. It seems to be exactly the kind of thing you were asking for. And I gave you a reason. I do not like her. Okay, fair enough. Not a good enough reason. She's unsafe. Yeah, that's not a good reason. She's not there. But no one said Finn Balor, and you know full well Finn Balor is much, much beyond that. Now, a to lot be of fair, people put him into the other category that he needs to go on his own, I would think. A lot of people yeah, but I didn't talk about that category. We're talking about that category. I'm just All right, okay. Why is everybody freaking Bomber, out? Bomber, when you wrote this, uh, because this gimmick Because you're out. making it ridiculous. You're, we're Did talking you about low-level people, way? and of you bring in an A-lister. <laughs> he never expects anything to go the way I it does. I thought remember? it would be a nice we would talk about people <laughs> I, that need to be cut, people that need to like go on the road. Thought it would be, I thought well, it would be nice again, if the Christmas season, and I thought you know, bringing up people losing their jobs would be great. I thought it would be a fun time for all of us. I, I get it, Bomber, but the whole reason I for them to be hear, cut I do want to hear Bomber's list, though. What I really, really want to Bomber. hear Bomber's list, but he doesn't oh. want to tell us. I, have, I want to give him. I have a... no problem telling my list. That's the whole Go point ahead, of the segment. Then. Oh, okay. Well, here we go. Okay, I have quite quite a big list here because <laughs> there are a lot of guys that just need to fucking get cut right now. I don't have. any. This is the to... get cut list, right? Just Not the go it. out and do better but, list, right? Yeah, I'm just I... making sure. 
Yeah, this yes. is just they need to be gone. Like they're, yeah, they're doing is... nothing in the company. Okay, cool, Correct. cool, 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 yeah. cool. Actually, like okay. first of all, most of the tag team, like a lot of the tag teams, especially on Raw, need to go. Like, just say the names. I can't. Uh, you just want me to literally just read down the names, and that, that's what you well, want. Well, just start with one. All I right, want to get an Bo idea. Dallas, Keep Curtis explaining Sacks, what your list Bo is going to be. Bo I don't. Yes, I would like to explain okay. before I just go straight into the names. Bo Dallas, Curtis Axel, Titus O'Neil, Goldust, Apollo Crews, stop. No okay, Way stop, Jose, stop right there. Mojo Rawley. Stop, 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 why? Bomber. Why? So, so, why? Okay. Why? Let's, well, let's now stop you at Bo why. Dallas. Let's stop at Bo Dallas yeah. and Curtis Axel. Okay. Sure. Who yeah. do you, so why? Who why do you replace them with? There no, no, not even 20... that. No, no, no. No, don't, don't replace them. Why, why them? That's what we're trying to get. We were giving they've you reasons. In, they've been in the company. I don't. I don't have the exact how long they've been in the company. They've been in the company long enough. They've tried several things with them. It's just time to go. It's just time to go. They're okay. Done. And who do you replace? His grandfather with? just died. Sorry. That's <laughs> oh, okay. That so okay. Yeah, that break. might be a little so, harsh. I guess I'm not saying sorry. we cut the guy the day his grandfather dies, but I'm just saying. But okay. I'm, I'm on board with you there. I get go. it. They've, they've reached their maximum level of what they're able to pull off. Yeah. I, I get you. As, I got as you. As far okay. as what Rab's saying, give me names right now that need to replace him. There are several people that can come in and fill these roles of jobbers. There's several people that can do that. We, yeah, it, but it's then it's then tiring but, when it's the but, same but then you're gonna guys. Complain, but then you're just going to complain that they're no, not. losers that you don't care about. Eventually, and then, eventually get, when it, and then when we do this, no. And then when we do this in December of 2019, no. you're going to have those people on the list. Not that soon, I won't. Now, these guys have been in the company for a very long time. They, it, it's time to go. They've done everything they possibly could. It seems like with these guys, and it just doesn't. It's just time. It's just time to go. Anybody can fill these roles. It's better to get fresh faces in there. Yes, as jobbers, they're going to be doing the same thing. They're not going to be winning every match. They're not going to be challenging for world titles. But it's better to get these fresh faces in there, so it's not the same guys every week coming out to no reactions and it's just it's just time to go for these guys it's same thing okay. with several other guys on here titus o'neill yes he is like i i know i hear that he's a great person like you know behind the scenes and stuff but the dude fucking is dead to the crowd the crowd doesn't give a shit the only thing he will be remembered for in his entire career i mean i hope this isn't harsh for me to say but when he fucking slid under the ring at greatest royal rumble nobody will ever remember anything else for titus o'neill for the rest of his career i know that sucks right. to say but it's time for him to go i love apollo cruz apollo cruz is a great wrestler one of the worst people on the mic in the company i i would top uh, or bottom five i guess on the mic in the company they've they've done stuff i feel like they did rush him in nxt but it's it's time to go not working out cut uh cut titus worldwide it was fun for a while but it's gone gold dust i love gold dust he's uh he easily hall of famer it's just it's time for him to go he's he's just turned into this old jobber guy and it Anybody can fill these roles here. Um, uh, no way, Jose. Oh, Jesus Christ. I knew this was going to be the worst fucking thing right as soon as he showed up. But uh, no, just no. Just get. I'll get say for the record, guy. I completely forgot about No Way Jose. I yeah, agree with exactly. you on that he one. Might, he might like, like, that, that's fired. a gimmick that I never know. should have even happened in the first place. Oh, it was great on NXT, but that's yeah. like, it was like a. Uh, like, uh, it was an indie bar name. It was, it was, what's, what's 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 the what's guy's that? name with the bunny? Oh my god! Oh Adam Rose! Oh Adam Rose! Adam Rose. Yeah. It's like Adam Rose. It works in NXT. It doesn't work. Yeah, it just it roster. just yeah. it died. It, and it died quick too. We so knew so it was now that die. now that you've no, now, so that you've there, yelled, there, now that you've yelled all your names and your reason. Well, I, I have, have to basically names agree left. with you. There's there's a level with Goldust where you say like anybody can do that. No, you need veterans to make guys look good. You can't just throw anybody. Goldust is a little bit closer. He's still pretty decent. I mean, I can see them having him no, for no. a little bit longer, but no, he, he, he can have a good match with basically anyone. Yeah. yeah, he can still go when you need him to. I don't think he should go. And he's very, are he's they very misusing him? He's sure. Very entertaining. But I, I would I would disagree with him. I, with I think that's the only. I actually would put him on the other list. Have him go over there with Cody and have some fun. Nah, he's old, bro. Yeah, he's supposed to do it. Um, the crowd will go nuts if he showed up at an all-in event or something like but that. But I think he I should think, go on his own. I, I think. I basically, except for Goldus, I basically agree with everyone on your uh, list, Bomber. Yeah, have, here's I, the problem, Bomber. I forgot about all these people. That's why I didn't even think of them. Uh, these so, these are people just on Raw, by the way. Uh, yeah. <laughs> well, that's fair. Uh, that's fair. SmackDown list is way shorter. Get rid of the goddamn colognes. Wait, ooh, ooh, colognes you did not gone. mention Heath Slater. No, uh, he's a, he's a referee now. Yeah, see. That's the interesting thing about that. If they keep kind of molding, like pushing him into different things, as far as a wrestler, he's pretty much goddamn. He's very funny. He's very entertaining. But 
Okay. He is pretty much done as so a wrestler. In a Hawkins kind of way where it's like, look, he's doing a good job at this yes. whatever role, so fair enough. I can see okay. them having I'm with you. a spot I'm for okay. him right okay. now. Uh, Mojo, I did put on the list, but I could see an argument with it still might be – I mean, they did try a lot of stuff with Give him. Give him – yeah, but, but he's not really had, a. I agree, a fair shot either. Yeah. Like, it's really I disagree. Yeah. I, I, I disagree still have him. Higher. He could just be Corbin part, part two. I disagree. Mo, two. Are we talking about Mojo? Did Mojo, Mojo Raleigh? Yeah, Mojo yeah. Raleigh, yeah. Mojo Raleigh? We're saying Mojo Raleigh hasn't got enough chances? I mean, he was the Andre the Giant. Mojo has gotten tons of fucking chances. He won the Andre the Giant thing. He's been around for a decent amount of time at this point. Yeah, he's been around he's for a little just while. He's not that interesting. Yeah. yeah. Um, as far as, far as uh, I'll finish the SmackDown, guys. Uh, again, I have the Colognes. Been there forever. Uh, it's just time. It's their... The crowd could care. I'm always absolutely. surprised that they're still actually around when they are. Yeah, until the Survivor Series, I thought they were gone. They just showed yeah. up in Survivor Series on the team, and they're gone. Uh, this one, I don't know if it's controversial or not, but Shelton Benjamin. I mean, he came back. That's uh, everybody racist. was excited. <laughs> God, <damn> it. <laughs> it's not racist. Uh, he came back. Everyone's excited. Oh, they're going to bring back Shelton Benjamin. This is great. And wow, talk about biggest waste of time for everyone. Oh, well, remember, he no. immediately got injured. I don't think he should be fired out. I think he should leave. He That's might be. I can see an argument for putting him on the other one. But, I mean, he's also been in a wrestling for a while. I don't know. I can see him having good stuff elsewhere, I guess. Yeah. Uh, Sin Cara? God damn. I don't know why this is still a thing. No. Get him out. He's doing media in Mexico. Get up, Please, God, fire him. I, I'm sorry. Again, I hate to be mean, whatever. But Sin Cara's done. Again, He's he came in with a little bit of hype, but... Lose him. Well, this time. is not the original Sin Cara, by the way. Correct, correct, correct. I know that, yeah. yeah. This is like the TNA guy, right? I forgot it, his name, but he wasn't from TNA. This is, no, no, this Tunico. is Tunico. Oh, okay. No, oh. you're, no there, there was the original Sin Cara. I was thinking who got the, hurt. Which is no, Mystico. No, 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 no Mystico. Well, he got hurt. The second Mystico. Well, yeah, I mean, yeah, that's a fun story, <laughs> too. But he got hurt, and then they brought in Sin Cara, who, who was Hunico under the mask. And then the original came back, and they had a feud, and then the winner would stay as Sin Cara. And the good guy won, got hurt again, and they just replaced him in the dark. And yeah. it was, oh, it's still, still Sin Cara, but it was the other one. That all well, it's also because they, Mystico. because they hated Sin Cara Mystico, one. Mystico, like, damaged his finger and won out of a match, and people were like, fuck you. Yeah, this and, all sounds like this guy needs, they need to fire Sin Cara. Get rid of yeah, no, but, that, but that's no, the other. Either one. way, exactly. Whoever, yeah, whoever that's, that's is the currently other whoever is currently playing Sinkara needs yeah. to go. They just he's need to get doing the character. rounds, doing media in Mexico. He's well liked and things like that. But yeah, he's he's if whatever. They want to bring him back as another uh, wrestler? Go for it. But Sinkara needs to go. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. If he wants to do whatever. <laughs> uh, the last name I have, as far as needing to get like, oh, they put him in Lucha House Party. No, oh, gee, I'm I, surprised. I, I, on, yeah, honestly, four on, four four on two, four on two matches. Yeah, uh, he, he's he's injured. That's why he's not a lucha house party. He's injured. Yeah. Um, the last name I have, uh, I actually do like his work as of late, but again, I think it's time to go. Uh, Aiden English. Sorry, uh, I know so he's. Some people do like him, but I, I feel like he he hit his prime with the Rusev stuff, and he doesn't have that much to offer. I mean, it's time <laughs> to go. It's time to go. That's another one where I think he could actually, if he asked to go and try to capitalize, it'd probably be better for him. I can see that. Um, I can see that. Uh, and... I, I, I've got one that you're missing. Okay, go for it. R Truth. R Truth needs to go. Oh, see, I thought of that, but I'm such a big R Truth fan. I love everything R Truth does. Oh, I we're can not def- but we're not talking about that. He just you're comes right. out you're and right. we see him lose and lose week after week. But he and is- get confused. Can I see someone else lose for once? But he comes out to no reaction. The one unless I, that's he, not true. He comes out with like not women true. there. That's not true. He comes out, no, he comes out to no reaction his unless it's with, at the wrong uh, moment. His match with Nakamura, uh, like last month or whatever it was for the United States title was one of the biggest reactions of the night on SmackDown. Everybody was super behind Nakamura, which I mean, sorry, uh, uh, our truth. Um, but I don't know. Again, I'm a little more biased. Think, I'm a really big, our truth fan, but I think he has a lot yeah. more entertainment value. than uh, I mean, a lot I, of these I, other I guys, he's being wasted. Head. I agree with that. He's, <clears throat> I, I think him and Goldust are about the same level. Sure. Yeah. For sure. the same reasons. Yeah. You know, they're 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 both uh, good hands. They're both uh, they're both they're veterans. Both very entertaining. They're both very you know, and they they both uh, get a little pop for being around for a while. Yep. I remember when when they tried to do the R Truth versus Goldust 
feud and it just didn't in the tag team i mean it was okay yeah, it the, definitely the, the, the golden truth the yeah i think they tried to rehash the work, but where they broke up and then it was like it faltered yeah it, it was like, entertaining they even have for a, a while i don't remember if they, they did. did yeah yeah it was entertaining Thanks. for a while but it just it didn't I get, I don't I don't want this to be you know sound racist but uh, I think they're just trying to oh, rehash geez. the whole Goldust Booker <laughs> T type deal because which was absolute fantastic in some of the best stuff back in that time frame but it was no. they were funny but it didn't quite match up to that level. Um, Goldust Goldust Booker T was fantastic. Yeah, it was, but it wasn't some of the best. What? Yeah, it wasn't that good, bad. Oh, dude, the only one says I, I don't mean to be racist, hard. but it was amazing. They, um, like, were the best wrong. thing in that tag division for a while, for the most part. Mm. But, anyway. Mm. No, I mean, you know, that's, that's just <laughs> that's my your opinion. opinion. Just my opinion, you know. <laughs> I don't remember a single of their matches, but, okay, they were the best part of the division. I well, mean, I remember their segments. Wise. Yes. But I remember their segments, so absolutely, but, okay, but I don't remember their matches at all, so I would well, never say they're the best part of the division. Well, because... that's true. that says a lot about the division back at that time. For yeah, the matches like were more entertaining than, no, no, no. No, their matches weren't. I remember the matches more than those segments. All I remember about them were those segments, but I remember a lot of the matches. Well, so... it depends how you, I guess, vi- like if if you. Uh... What you? It's what you remember. Yeah. Um, you no remember. women on your list. I actually, I thought of. I looked at the list of the females. I, I don't have anybody that I would. I think needs to be let go. I, Tamina's not on your list. I, I did put <laughs> Tamina. I think she serves a purpose right now alongside Nia Jax. They have a, like, them as a team, as a duo, th- that's like a super serious threat. Bro, Tamina, situation. if we're talking about no, if we're talking about no reaction, oh, when she came Tamina out, Tamina gets negative. I think it's, it's because almost as if, her a lot It's right almost now. as if people get quiet. I wouldn't be su- surprised if when Tamina came out, everyone immediately went on their cell phones. No, I can, no, I, I can see <laughs> that. that. The only rac- reason I think... Her reaction is uh, pocket shuffling. <laughs> like, <laughs> like the lighting gets real messed up in the, the arena because of all the cell phone screens turning on. I can see that. Like, the, I would not be shocked. The only way I don't have... The only reason I think is because she's currently mixing a lot of like the big stuff with Nia right now. So, well, my reaction every time she comes she's... out is always like, um, oh, huh. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, she just looked... I, I don't... When you have not adding them, anything to Nia, though, I don't think. As a like, duo. I'm saying as a duo. She's, doing, look, not, but yeah, she's but, doing nothing. You can put... Look, look at this the is, tag this match. This is a perfect example of exactly what you were saying before. You could call anyone up. But she serves the purpose as like a monster. Though. No. Like, who... Okay, who, no. Like... I'm not. Who? I'm who? not. Tell, like, who's, what other who's, like who's, big monster? Who's the black women? girl with the hair? Bianca. B- 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 Bianca Belair. <laughs> close. Yeah. Close enough. Honestly, yeah, no, I fucking saying. love her. Yeah, but no, that's that, that's no, a completely but, different like type character though. No, but you could if you just like if it's Nia's muscle, Natalia could do it. Natalia's been uh, the muscle before. Uh, she could easily no, do that. It's she doesn't have that monster type feel that doesn't not yeah, Nia not, Tamina. Tamina doesn't, doesn't have, have a monster to, feel. Uh, Tamina has been beat by it, everybody. It, She's it, not a it, Tamina monster. doesn't have any feel. And Nia is coming off scared of people. She's sure. like, oh, I don't want to do this. She, they're not. Neither of them are being monsters. They're just being big. I say Nia is not they're a not good, like monsters. scary Sometimes monster. Sometimes you type. have to have that nope. stuff. I mean, that, I mean. I'm just saying. I mean, I don't yeah, know. This is not one of those times. They're not effective monsters, which makes I, me I think agree. this is well, this that's, is the, that's the writer's if fault. If it takes two reason... of them to make them credible, then that's a problem right there. And you should. I, I think. Up. I think Tamina is a perfect example of a. The the rest of them, honestly, because there's just not that many women. Yeah. And they keep trying to do things that need a lot of women. I had well, so look at, it yeah. Yeah. to get rid of many of them. If it was Tamina. a month ago, Tamina 100%. would be on this list 100. percent Probably if it's two months from month. now, Tamina will probably still be on that I list. Agree. Because, I agree. Because literally, she's not going to get anything out of this. It's, it's all for Naya. Stuff. She will not succeed. How many more chances? It's Like I said, to the Mojo situation, how many more chances does she need to not succeed out of this? Yeah. She's never held any of the titles. She's not going to, unless Naya gets hurt and yeah. maybe elevates, but it's going to flip around. Tamina, I hate to say it, because she's actually not bad, but it's been so long, mm-hmm. it's time to go. For the record, Tamina I, Tamina has been in the day day for this is this is, she's about to go into her tenth year. That's crazy. She's like forty something, right? She's, she's forty up there. She's well, forty okay, specifically. Okay. okay. I mean, yeah, she's you're 40. definitely making a good argument. That's for sure. She's up she's there. She's forty. She debuted yeah. 
It's about to be, yeah, she's going into year 10. It's about to be her ninth year anniversary. There, there were and two her fe- body's beat up. There were and two I know there's females. times we thought, like, Natalia should probably be on this list. Not no, currently. No, they, people bounce around. I, I, I get that. It's fair. But when they're doing nothing, yeah, okay, they get on that list. She, so. she's, she's literally done nothing of note in She's not a reliable time. hand, so I think if they need an extra... I also agree person. she's not a super reliable hand. Like, she's not, eh, she's not terrible. Who are we talking well, about? I mean, like, she's always I mean, hurt. No, agreed. She's yeah, you're right. inconsistent, and it's like it's not like, oh, we can count to give her a run yeah, for a correct. Correct. That's one correct. thing about, about, about Natalia. Natalia is a good hand, bar yes. none. Yeah. She's mm-hmm. always around. She's yeah. never hurt. She's safe in the ring. And she's Good. a vet, too. She's one of the vets on the... Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that, the, the women don't he's exact, really have... He's exactly right. Peanut's exactly right. That's not true about Tamina, because Tamina is hurt, like, yeah. 50% of the time. There, but there should were, be a veteran. Yes. There were two women oh. that I, I could have put on the list. One was Tamina. The other one was Dana Brooke. I don't think she's got a whole lot, but it's... It's still. I mean, I feel like it's still too early. There's still stuff they could do. I, I don't think know. their I roster size is I so small. I think Rab said do anything, but they need women. I was yeah, gonna say like do. I think their roster size is so small that you can't cut anybody. There's no na- quote unquote dead weight. I you was gonna say good. like Alicia Fox. You could, Fox, yes. you could she drop. Much she herself. has not gotten better. Oh, like Alicia Fox could be. That's a good call. I didn't even think. Well, at her. the same time, her character is what it is, and it kind of works. And people Al- are Alicia, to it, Alicia so. Fox is a veteran. She's serving her role. Yeah, she's, she's serving veteran, her role. Right. But she's former Divas champion. Good. I fucking really so like I, I, really, I think that's I, a name you could look at. But really the way the roster her. is, I'll, I'll stop talking. No, no, no. What? I know what I said. Yeah, I really dislike her. So you just keep talking over me, huh? <laughs> Stalemate. Go ahead. All right, oh, so what? on the flip side of that list, since we kind of went through Raw, SmackDown, NXT, Women's Division, who do you guys think – I'll start with uh, Rav on this one. Who, Since we have a, a ground of what this should be, who do you think could leave and benefit from leaving? Because they're a talent – Do you think kind of... we all don't see what you're doing, Peanut? What's it, <laughs> trying to take over? So he can call He's himself the host? The show. So he can call himself the fucking host again. Mm-hmm. We entered a stalemate. Someone had to do something. No, I, I was just really confused for a second. But yeah, me too. That's why I kind of like. Yeah, I know. I didn't know what was going on. Anyway, yeah. Okay, so yeah, like Peanut said, Brad, who you got? Who you got? Uh, that needs to go on their own to you know seek out a better you know I guess career. See, or, the problem is that some of these are real obvious. So like saying like the revival, that's real obvious. But no, but I do mean, you think that they honestly they should yes, like one hundred percent honestly revival, need to leave? I think the revival have one the right fan base. To the right look, and and three can put on great matches, and they are the kind of guys who can travel Japan and tra- do ROH and do you know whatever you know the fucking young bucks are gonna do and do PWG and they can do those matches and they can do the, those those settings and they can make good money. Okay. Uh, I you know it's maybe I'm done waiting for Day to do something with them correctly, you know maybe. It just and they don't seem very happy. <laughs> on top of everything, they don't seem happy doing it. <laughs> they they complain on Twitter constantly, which is super weird. Yeah. It's and weird that, that they don't know what to and do. And it might with be them. part of their, they have, it might be part of the gimmick or whatever. But who's that gimmick for? Clearly not the people watching WWE. <laughs> yeah, because yeah. So, the whole... no, I think I mean it's a real obvious one. Uh, but yeah, I think that's a that's a. It's obvious for a reason. It's because, one, everyone wants to see them with the Bucks. I think they'd be good in Japan. They'd be good heels in Japan, especially, you know, the way Japan is. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. They'd, be, they'd be good in, in you know, ROH or PWG. They, think they put on some great matches. Obviously, we saw them in NXT. And they could make good money that way. And, like I said, they just don't look happy. Yeah, maybe, I, maybe I'm crazy, but... I see the the main the majority of their success coming from Japan based off of like their style and stuff. Maybe I'm just like blind or whatever, but I don't see them doing that great in like the like Ring of Honor or something like that. As far as like a long term like big deal type thing. I, I disagree. I, I sure, disagree sure. based a lot of entirely people. on their time in NXT. Because they put on great feuds and great matches with DIY. Yes. They NXT and that's a, and that's a very similar style to the American Indies. Okay, okay, yeah, I think I'm definitely the minority on that. But for some reason, when I like try to picture it, I'm like, man, I just don't picture these guys like 
being the top team and like these other in like in Ring of Honor. And, I see and what stuff. you mean. Like not the head... to be the top yeah, team, I... but they're the go- they're the right people to go against the top team. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Let's see that. Like I don't see them being the main draw ever. No, no, I, I, I agree. I don't think they'd be the main draw, but I think they'd make good money going against the main draw. And they'd stay stay relevant. I think that would also happen. Yeah. Yeah. I can see that. What about uh, I I I think Gallows and Anderson need to go again. I like need to leave. What do you guys think? That's no, tough. and I'll tell you why. Is there not young? <laughs> but I <laughs> mean, like, real I, good... literally, they could go they're back not... to Japan and no, be, like, they're not men. young. Everyone's kind of moving away from the Bullet Club thing. Mm-hmm. They're not young. Did we say that already? Yeah, not young, <laughs> not young. And and I think they seem perfectly happy just making money, working in yeah. America, not having to go yeah. to Japan. It's too mm-hmm. late to recapture that magic. They yeah, they literally to go back to there's what they did on the indies. You can't do any bigger than what they did. So what's there to do? I mean, if that's well, the case, an... then I would move them over to the let them go. Then I think because I I maybe I was like wrong no, no, no. like what you guys are saying. Picture them going to Japan, but I would I would let them go then. But are they dead weight? But they're providing their purpose of helping. But they're a, not, a, yeah, a they're not dead weight, and they're and they're, they're dead weight at all. No, they're not dead weight at all. They're they're fine on Raw mm-hmm. or SmackDown or wherever they are. They're fine. They're That's middle. They're real for middle of the table, you know. But yeah, they're they're doing what they do. They get some wins. They have some losses. They're a credible threat. That's light years ahead of some others like the Ascension of the Clones. They're a credible. They're credible jobbers. I think that's it. They're, they they work. I think well. they have the ability. If sorry to cut you off, Scott. I feel like we're all doing that today. But I feel that they also, if they needed them to like pick up some extra weight. Um, they could like slide into that role of having like a great two match series with like the Usos if they had to, like they still have that ability. Yeah, if right. If someone gets injured, you can easily slot in. Mm-hmm. It would not shock anybody to see them be a credible threat against the tag champs. That's just yeah. what they are. But to go back to Japan to see them go after another run at the tag titles, which they had I think three times. Okay, that could work. But they've literally climbed that mountain before. It, it, and it uh, there's. It doesn't it's, seem like they're craving to go do that. No. If anything, um, Gallows knows what it was like to be there and go and come back. So yeah. it's it's a different story. Um, the one name that I'll throw out there that should go and strike on his own that I've been saying for a while is Ziggler. He would light the indies on fire and then be in demand to be brought back, like a McIntyre situation. <laughs> eh, see, I, pro- I have the same yeah. problem with Ziggler that I have. Yeah. That- Ziggler's happy. Ziggler, yep. he could have left. If Ziggler he's wants happy. to Fair stay point. here, yeah. get a he's safe happy. paycheck, do his comedy thing on the side, who am I yeah. to say, nah, bro, you should go to Japan yeah. and really, if, like, hustle the, for the fucking, yes. you know. Six, seven years ago, maybe. But I think at this point, he's going to be a, a four-lifer. I think even three or four years ago. But no, to be I, fair, yeah, if he's enjoying true. it, then no, absolutely not. I just think like he could have struck on his own and been part of that whole hotness going on. Yeah, I think um, it's almost. Like I think it's a little late he though. He just I think, missed it. Yeah, yeah. It's a fair point. Um, yes. The other one I, I said before was Goldust, simply because Cody's having so much fun doing his shit. That he's his brother. He'd benefit. It would. That could be a thing they do. I, I don't know. I agree with that. But I, I mean, I can see only Goldust. because of that. Otherwise, no, Dustin Rhodes, absolutely not. But. Yeah, not for like a long term yeah. thing. But I think that would be fun for him to leave and then go do a like you know just like well, a one time deal. I mean, it's, don't forget, like that. Dustin to start winding he, down. So he he said he his goal one day was to be NWA champion. This was back probably five or six years ago. Um, wouldn't it be interesting to see Dustin Rhodes go after the NWA title suddenly? That would I mean is it too late? Oh, one last run for the old veteran. That'd like be that's fun. yeah. That's a that's a legit sure. thing that would work. Yeah. So if he did that, he could actually go for it. So that's who's, a who's the NWA champion right now? Uh, Nick, Nick Aldis again. Is he still the? the well, well, he yeah, lost he to the Cody. Back. Got him back. He lost to the Cody. But that's right. He won it back. I think, he, <laughs> yeah. I think he's a good champion though. He like he holds the title well. He it seems like he represents. He's he looks like a well. champion. Yeah, I mean, and he's not a bad worker or anything. So I mean, he's, no. I'm sure he's. Well, I'm right. Here's a name. I'll toss a name He's out. Boring. Oh. Okay. Tyler Breeze. I've heard some people throw that name out too. Um, it is interesting. I think so. here's my take because I okay. think he he's one who can he can work. He also has a good yeah. mind where I think he knows how to play a role that he's supposed to. So I think if he went somewhere, he'd be able to dial it up and make himself seem more important. 
because like he can do the comedy thing. He's a good character, but he's a good worker. So I think he could make it work in a serious style I think as well, but keep though. himself kind of. I agree with that. Doesn't seem with like he I think he's happy. So I, no yeah, I, 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 I keep he running would benefit into the same if he problem. Did. I keep I, running to the same pro I keep running to the same problem, and maybe I it's just me. Breeze and Ziggler would benefit if they did, but they don't want to, so they it wouldn't be in their best interest. I guess that's the way to put it. And Breeze is one of those people that gets talked about from time to time of like a, a guy who he doesn't he has no interest of even he's he's like real chill where he is. He doesn't really have that much. I guess I'm uh, yeah. about that then. That yeah. much desire to move up or anything. You know what? Uh, I I don't have him on my list, Peanut, but I'm gonna add him. You're right. That is that is a good name. Um, I I see what you guys are saying, but I see a problem with that. He's su he's super young. He's not getting over. He's getting jobbed out. This is a guy that oh, no, can no, no. succeed. He's, he's getting over. He is getting over, but he is getting jobbed out. Yeah, mm -hmm. this is a guy that but, can succeed. But here's, but here's the thing. Better. He it, he doesn't seem to have. Yeah, I see the work saying. ethic to even move up and within see, WWE. The He's supposed to be able to hustle through the indie scene and go to Japan. Mm -hmm. he could, that's he, true. Well, then he could if he was a different person. Well, then that I mean, <laughs> if if he doesn't have the drive, that's that's the point I'm saying. If he that's what I'm saying. Drive, exactly. That's exactly. Got the skills, he doesn't then he... seem, and he he doesn't seem, and that's. Oh, mm -hmm. kind of been one of the rumors yeah, he, with him for like the last two years that he doesn't really have a lot of drive. Well, that's, yeah, it's an RBD that's situation. Guys who just shows up and gets a paycheck. Well, then yeah. that's not that's then. Yeah, yeah but he's he, filling he a role. Release or he good. Good this is it. why. But uh, this is yeah. why he's not a good uh, person to say, "Hey, he should go out on his own." But I also don't think he should be fired because he's filling a role and is good at it. And he's good at the role he's filling. Yes, yeah, exactly. I don't think yeah. that's there. And so he should. And, he doesn't belong on either list in that case. Uh, for you guys, yeah, 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 yeah. Um, so you you think why, because yeah, he's filling a role that he's good at doing, but has no drive, he should be fired? No, I don't think he should, he's doing I exactly no, what he's. Told? I don't think he should be fired. I, yeah, think, I don't think he's fired. I think, I think they're leaving on their own terms. Yeah. Oh, you know, I agree. Again, I agree. He may not have the drive. I just think that he should to help himself out. If he, he doesn't want to, that's his own. I mean, that's his own yeah. thing. I think he I should agree. though. I think if he if I think if he chose to leave, he would starve to death. Well, that's, yeah. that, I mean, that's his own damn fault yeah. if, if he doesn't want to It succeed. would be his fault, but yeah. this is my point. This is why oh, I think I it's not. He's, what, so and, the and, question and, there is he would benefit from it, but he shouldn't do it. But he would benefit. No, he would benefit if he, he was a different person. Yeah, he exactly. could benefit. Exactly. He could. That, that's perfect. Yeah. He's one of those he names could that could benefit be. from it. Just, the, the man he is wouldn't would do it. Not. <laughs> yeah. Gotcha. Um, I, here's, here's the name that I have, which I think almost anyone listening to this probably has the same name. Uh, Zach Ryder. Zack Ryder, I think no. he's got to the – no? I think it's too late. I think yeah. Zack Ryder's done. He can, he can have a big splash. On, he can have a big you splash everyone on everyone talk I about think. how happy I think he is just showing up way, every day, waving to Vince on the way out and just <laughs> – I think the only way Zack Ryder does anything is if he goes to, like, Impact. Yeah. He's got a toy yeah, show on the YouTube thing with them right now. He, like, he is a he's, he's, he's it's fun retire too. Retire as a company man. No, like, he's he'll, he's no, fine. They're gonna he'll, fire him in like three years. Throw him a bone now and then. <laughs> he would again. Would he benefit from it? I don't think. I so. don't think so. I think it's too late for him. Okay. I think if this was five years ago, 2011, he would benefit yes. like a Billy Gunn did, where he didn't really work. He he would live off it, but it wouldn't make any waves. Okay. I had two more names. I just want you guys to tell me what you think. Um, I think I already kind of know what you're going to go here. Uh, Kurt Hawkins, I got him only because when he did leave, he was pretty successful in the indie scene. He he was getting booked everywhere. He was making a lot of money. And he, and he like, has his own thing going on, right? He has his own little promotion training center. Uh, uh, Bomber, he's making more money now as a jobber for WWE than he did on the indies. I mean that's po yeah that may be possible I have no idea. No, it, it, he is. He said okay. he said that. He okay. Said, he well, did. I mean if he said that, yeah, he then owned up. He he's like, oh, you're just go. a jobber from now on. Yeah, and I'm making more money than ever before. He Same is, and Mike, he's got a, he's got a Mike Canellis, Mike Bennett. A, Same he's thing. He's got a stable job, and he's oh, got like kids and shit. He's got yeah. Care. I forgot about Mike so, Bennett. Is he still there? He didn't fire him. He's yes. on uh, two hundred five. He's, he's on two hundred five. Yeah. Oh, that I looked at the two hundred five roster. Sorry, just two hundred five. Did they actually drop the live? No, it's still two hundred five live. I didn't see anyone I wanted to cut, but I was gonna. I I would have added him to my list. It's all two alive. He's also, doing all right, though. He's doing all right in 205 now. Also, no yeah. more Dar. I'd get rid of him. I don't like him. 
He's boring. No. He's boring. No, no, you, you don't like him is not a good reason. No, Remember before. Me that's <laughs> no, I, he's, he's boring. He, he's, there's 50 other I mean, guys that can, like, be a high flyer re- on 205. Remember, they don't remember from before, we agreed that you don't like him is not Correct. a good reason. Okay, I'm yeah. sorry. Yes, I do not like him, true, but he also is a super generic high flyer no, that anyone could take great, that role. He can take some great I, bumps. He knows how to get someone. Like He works in the style of getting of someone Mustafa, over. Ali. I've got an no. answer. No. I've, I've got an answer. Okay. Hideo Itami. Oh, yeah. I, uh, yeah, he's... Hideo yeah, Itami yeah, yeah, yeah. could be cut. We really know what he can do overseas. I'm crazy, but I've never he been should big leave. on him ever. I've never even been remotely big on him. He for so. sure should leave. Yeah. yeah, he should leave because he's not getting used right. In he's, he's not getting used right. He can and never he seems, And he seems to have, like, given up. In yeah, he doesn't look comfortable. Well, he saw the new shiny toy Shinsuke come in. Yeah, but he's, he seems to have given up completely. Yeah, he because would, he would, it's he not would, working out. He should go, yeah. Um, he should go. The, the last name I have on my list as far as... And, again, this one I put down last, and I... I wasn't really big on it, but Ty Dillinger, what do you guys think? I was Ooh. pondering that one for both, mm-hmm. actually, because he's so... Yeah. He's popular, but he's being so misused. But what's he going to do? I was going to say, I don't know exactly. Like, what does he do when he goes indie? Like, because he came from the indies into this, so, like, what's he go back and... Nah. All I can think and is of he that good impact? that he's going like, to light a fire on... I know nope. Cody Rhodes isn't all that great. All these hey, guys but... came Cody Rhodes, from the indies, Cody so they're just going back. for wrestling. A great yeah. mind, but, like, he's not, That's like, my point. That's why, he, that's why Cody Rhodes works out, because he's yeah. got that yeah. great mind for wrestling. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, he's a... All right, wrestler. Mm-hmm. Uh, he's yeah, got he's he's, and he's got charisma, so it, it's fine. And I think he'd say this up. as well. <laughs> he does what he needs to do. He's, yeah. That's the business. Yeah. See, that's why I thought about that because I was like, well, I don't really see him succeeding anywhere, but maybe seeing it or impact. Sorry. Um, and I, I just, I'm not big on Ty Dillinger either. I don't. He hasn't really blown me away. I mean, he does the whole ten thing, but. I mean, I don't really think that was like really him it's, doing that. It's I mean, a weird one where he's going to derailed really by injuries. Fun, so it was big for like two takeovers, yeah, and then it it's always good for the Royal Rumble. Everybody's excited yeah. for the Royal Rumble. Um, but so I don't have the name on my list. But what do you guys think about Nakamura? You think Nakamura needs to go away, or do you think he's no. good? No, it's fine. No, no it's I fine. think it's a person. Okay, he's good. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, he's good. I, I mean, I get I, it. Going back to Japan would be a big deal, and he would main event things like nobody's business, but. He's fine right now. It's all good. Yeah, I didn't have him either. I just wonder. What I've it is, got. But... I think I've got a weird one, and okay. it's it's almost me trying to like, you know, cut ahead. Okay. Uh, Andrade San Almas should a hundred percent leave. I somebody brought that up in the Discord mm. actually. San Almas. I, I way love too new San Almas. I think he's great. Give I think they time. did great with him in in NXT. I think they, it already shows that they're going to completely misuse him. Mm-hmm. And if I was him, I'd get the fuck out of Dodge and go make some money while his while his uh, star is still high. I can see that argument. I can definitely see it. Point, yeah. Let's go into the path of what could happen because you might light the world on fire and be brought back as a big deal like a Drew McIntyre or somehow a Jinder Mahal. You could do that. And if he did that and suddenly made him go, oh, that's what we had? And the he problem comes back is, Triple H the is in charge, is that, and holy shit, here we go. So the problem is that NXT shows that they clearly know what they have. Yeah, well, no, it shows that Triple H knew what he had. Doesn't yeah. know Vince knows what he has. That's that's kind of my point yeah. on that. But this is true. That's its own thing. But yeah, if they light the world on fire and be brought back in strong, cool. It's yeah. There's these possibilities. Yeah. So I mean, that's, that's a little bit of a weird one because obviously he hasn't been up that long. That's why I didn't put him down. Yeah, yeah, he's still young. He's really paying his dues on the main roster. So uh, I hate how they do that. But and, yeah, if WWE, but gets I really on that, feel oh, like it's already going in the direction where they're gonna waste them. I do agree, but the writing's it's worrying. Little... Yeah, I think if WWE WWE gets on that big kick, hey, we need to push a Mexican guy. I think he's gonna be the guy, though. That no, they have Rey Mysterio back. But they don't want. Back. They don't not want a Mexican guy. But they don't want a Mexican guy at that level. They want a Mexican guy. I'm you know, Rio. to beat the revival. Oh my God, Jesus! <laughs> I'm talking about he could be the actually next three Rio. Mexican guys. But. <laughs> <laughs> and actually, I now, don't think they're all Mexican. But that's not the point. Of course, there's yeah, one's from like Chicago. One's, one's Puerto um, Rican. Yeah, yeah, and yeah Kalisto's like Chicago, I think, right? Probably like he's yeah, straight from America. But, yeah, but he's Mexican. Mainland Kalisto, America, I think. Kalisto's Mexican, but he's from Chicago. Is he? Okay. Um, 
Now, the other name, because um, you kind of alluded to it before, was Finn Balor, which I don't agree with, but I understand where people are coming from. Mm, um, yeah. Like, oh, he's being misused, he's not world champion, blah, 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 blah. He's always top-tier stuff. Yeah, he's just getting beat up by bad guy monsters. Okay, well, he'll overcome that, because he... That's his what, time will come, It's I happening, think. yeah. Those, yeah. Like, he'll, he'll Daniel Bryan it. It's going to be a mm-hmm. point where they was, won't be able to not do it. And they know, because they keep teasing him into those main event spots. So I don't yeah. think he should go on his own. However, if he did... You, he was a success on the Indies beforehand. He was an amazing draw. He'll be fine. He yeah, would do he well would if he did. But I don't think he should. No, he's always featured. Like you said, he's always featured in some mm-hmm. role. Uh, he's he's not like, I don't think he's in any issue. A lot, I know a lot of people are getting like bored of him. I know Leeds definitely said he's been getting bored of him. But uh, I don't well, I don't see at the moment a time It's to... that sense of you know, just wanting more from it. Like, we know what he can do. Let him do it. Stop putting him in with stuff like this. Or at least have him more win. of the same every week. Yeah, oh, well, that's just the nature of Raw and SmackDown. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So. But, uh, I mean, I don't have any <laughs> names. I think, uh, I think I'm good, guys. What about you? You got any names before we get out of here? Any last names? That went through mine. Yeah? <laughs> no, I mean, and, and you know, San Almas was really my, my main yeah. one where, like, yeah, I think, I think, the best business decision, best life decision for him right now would be to to, to get the fuck out of there and uh, make some money in the indie scene and then come back. I definitely Barrett, that's the best name thrown out. I think I'd agree with Baron Corbin's the best name you said. Is that what you said? No, no, oh. what Rab is saying. Oh, Rab seeing. Oh yeah, uh, I, I I do definitely agree. It definitely looks like he is going to go down the the wrong road and they're going to fuck it up. I can agree with that for sure. But they've got a bad track record for that. Uh, as of late, so yeah. So you know, he goes, makes some money in the indie scene. Triple H takes over while he's gone. He comes back. Come Triple back. H likes him. Ugh. It'd be perfect. It'd be perfect. Mm-hmm. Give him a stupid fedora again or whatever the fuck he was wearing before. That was that was a little weird, but uh, yeah. But he found he it. He just looks like that oh window. yeah. He worked it out. He worked it out, and it worked out good. That's what so him, I mean. Him, him, and uh, Zelina Vega are fantastic. Together. Oh, perfect, perfect. Um, I, I thought like they were this. married. No. No, actually, she <laughs> no Vega just married Black. I know yeah. that's where when I saw that. I know, didn't I send that? And I was like, oh, yeah, you're like, what and you, oh, you thought they were married that whole time? Well, I didn't know if they were. I thought they were like an actual thing that. No, she was with Austin them. Aries for the longest time. Yeah, jeez, that's uh, that's good. That shows they got a great chemistry. Then that's good. Mm-hmm. That's no, good. that's what I mean. They really. Yeah, they've got fantastic I, chemistry. They're great in the ring I together. Fell into the gimmick. Cool. So uh, I guess that's it, guys. We're going to head out of here. Um, we'll see you guys in two weeks. Uh, oh, I wanted to uh, plug one thing before we go. Over on our Twitter account, at Jobber Radio, we have a poll up right now. Um, want everybody to go vote on that. It is – there's four different um, series that we do here on the YouTube channel. And I want you guys to go vote on what you want to see us focus on more in the future. Because, you know, obviously we have uh, slacked on a lot of our different um, content things that we've been doing. So go vote right now. The what are the choices? Up, uh, the choices are, let me load up the uh, thing here. I know matches Best the memory. in the business. No, that's already, we do that that's a little, right. yeah, we already do that a little <laughs> more. Um, I'm loading up right backyard now. Backyard breakdown. Backyard matches breakdowns. to memories. Man, I forgot about backyard breakdown. Uh, right now, I believe that is winning the poll. Most that was a fun one. one. Yeah, like more fun. That. Yeah, I was up for more of that. Where the mm-hmm. fuck is the poll at? Oh, uh, backyard. Oh, here it is. Uh, backyard breakdowns, which is winning with thirty-five percent. Uh, they wrestle in CZW, nine percent. That's my own thing, though. That's you know. You're the only person who voted. Yeah, so. I'm the only. I, I, yeah, I'm we, the can only we can take that. We can take that nine percent and from there figure out how many people voted. Yep. Uh, <laughs> matches, 9% is one vote. Matches the memories, thirty percent. That's second place. That was Zion's kind of show, but I mean, I don't see a reason why like we can't like us any of we us can do that same all thing. do yeah. the stuff. Yeah, exactly. yeah. There's I don't see why that's not a reason. Uh, and also uh, show off, which. Is twenty six percent? A lot of people actually really did like I the show off show. show. Which one is show off? I don't remember that. You, you, That's the make a roster and you, compete type thing. It's a fantasy oh. booking contest. Uh, you I, haven't I, done that yet, Peanut. Um, I hated show off because one time you guys made me do fucking Raw two thousand three. Yeah, I I picked <laughs> some interesting things and then I was so. Yeah, and then you did ECW, right? You won the ECW. One. I won the ECW one, which is why I had to do Raw 2003. Yeah, because we do the thing. The winner like I hate when I win. The winner defends. <laughs> we call it like the show off title, even though that's not really a thing. Just they whoever wins I think has we to should defend bring back their wins. Crossfire. Yeah, I lost the show off title by 
purposely putting together a terrible, <laughs> terrible card, which would have been accurate to 2003. Yeah. Uh, the worst the current champion year in wrestling. Current champion Maybe is Matt get... Zion, who is talking about the uh, Rab. He just beat Rab in that match he's talking about right now, the 2003 one. The worst uh, fucking go. year in wrestling. Um, but, yeah, so Zion is the defending champ. He will. Um, I have no doubts that we'll bring the show back at some point. I'm just trying to gauge some interest on everybody. Um, it looks like everybody's interested in everything except the they wrestle in CZW, which is my own interest, so. <laughs> It uh, doesn't matter. I'm going to do that on my own, so whatever. <laughs> that shit is terrible. <laughs> but Backyard Breakdowns, looks like that's winning the polls. We'll see who wins. It closes in five well. days. so Might as well have a show. Like, they shop at all these. <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot of names, by the way. I have so many like little scripts written out for uh, names that you had no idea that they actually wrestled in CZW. I'm going to give you a tease right now, a name that I guarantee oh. you, you didn't even know, wrestled in CZW. Oh. And if you do if oh, you see Eric you, Young. Uh, no, uh, Corey, Corey Graves. Bet you didn't know that, did you? Nope. Uh, that'll well, be an episode. Corey why Graves' that, why second that match of all time. Because, <laughs> nope, I don't think anybody just knew that he wrestled in one of the most independent, uh, ultraviolet companies, uh, in the United States. I can States. see it, because he's from Pittsburgh, and, uh, CZW is Northeast based. Anyway, one day, that'll be an episode. I mean, it makes perfect sense. And and that doesn't seem like a well, weird Well, fuck one. you guys, you either, either way, fuck you guys, it's gonna be an episode, so we'll see what happens. <laughs> like Ricochet. Did Ricochet wrestle on CZW? Uh, you never know. Well, uh, maybe it'll be an episode if he did. Whoa, whoa, no, whoa! No, we can't can't spoil too many things. Teaser, but, uh, no. But, uh, yeah, Backyard Breakdowns, that, that's leading. We'll probably hit that up at some point uh, pretty soon. Um, Peanut's got one ready to go. I know Brian versus Daniel, right? Or Daniel versus Brian. <laughs> Daniel versus Brian. Yes. <laughs> and I got plenty to go to, so... All right, uh, I just want to tell everybody, go vote on that on the poll, at Jobber Radio on Twitter, and... I guess I'm out of here. I hope you guys enjoyed. We'll see you in two weeks. John Cena should go to the Indies. <laughs>